There we go. Okay. Whew. I think we're good. Holy shit. Well, oh, the table's sticky. Well, shit. What is that noise? I had to be my keyboard, sorry. Oh, okay. I, mean, I was like, is somebody uh, sticking animals in a washer? Mm, nope. Should they be? Nope. Just didn't know if they were or not. Oh. Yeah. All right. Yep. So, we're live. We are live, I think. You plug this one anywhere? Because apparently no one's getting notifications. Um, I put it up on Patreon and our Facebook group, and then I put like a Insta I, story up like a half hour ago. I literally just got a notification on my phone. That's good. So I know we're we're doing it live. Look at that. Um, hmm? do you like it? I do. Good. It's really nice, actually. It's yeah. perfect. I think it's um better than the. The other, the Deadpool one that I have. Oh, okay. I think well, it fits better than that one. Oh, shit. All right. Well, um, what is going on, everybody? Um, What's happening? Dude, I could not get this barrel. For the bourbon junkies, these are, this is a live stream. I could not get this barrel um, leveled. Oh, really? No, because the one middle of the floor is so tippy. Yeah. And I had cardboard oh. tore up for both sides of under this barrel. Okay. Dude, I see your cat stretching out back there. <laughs> hey, cut that out. No one wants to see that. Um, Hider or, or ladiness. Yeah. So basically, um, I couldn't get it. And then I kept setting the like the top on it. And it kept like tilting. Mm -hmm. So then I'm like, shit. So then I tore up a cardboard box. And I got it leveled again. Did I do the old dad trick? Yep. And then um, after that, I broke our tripod. So that's what took oh, so long. Oh, nice. Yep. Oh, Brandon Sedam. Opinion on Rocky Patel cigars. Literally had one today. Trust me. Trust me. Help me help you buy the Sun Grown. Uh, yeah, Dan said they're good. I had a uh, 15th anniversary today. I still like them. They were just some meaty motherfuckers. Those, I'm telling you what, I think Rocky Patel makes a bunch. That, that 15th was one of something. my favorites, my first favorites. Let's see. Put my blanket down. What are you doing? Uh, what am I doing here? Okay. okay. I'm trying to get YouTube chat up so it's not so slow, so I can see you guys better. I'm wondering what is plugged into where and why. Okay, that can come out. Throw that in. Ah, look at there. All right, get the old pop-out chat going. Yep. All right. Here we go. And I was like wondering why I was super dark. I might be a little white. We'll see if that'll correct or well, not. No, you are white. Oh, there we go. It's. I was going to say it'll eventually change the ISO on this little thing. But I was, I was sitting there looking like a fucking Sith Lord because I had no light coming at me. All right. Okay. So, holy shit. What is up? So, yeah. So, basically, I come out here and I start setting stuff up, the barrel and blah, blah, blah. And then I put the camera on the tripod and I'm like... So, we got to order a new tripod is what I just heard? I mean, thankfully, that was a pretty cheap one. And Jeremy, yeah. you know, with all his... Uh, wisdom and suggestions said you should everybody should own one nice tripod and then apparently we're about to a couple like decent fine one like <laughs> this would have been what, what he would have called a fine one you know what I mean yeah um you know how at the top of the tripod you can unscrew the neck yep and it telescopes mm -hmm. I unscrewed the neck and then I pulled the telescope and the whole tube came out so it no longer telescopes <laughs> yeah we can yeah, it's fine we don't even need that so needless to say um, <sighs> you i i had my phone out here charging and after it broke i'm like oh motherfucker so then i i i look over because i heard my laptop go doo -doo, and you were like stream yard link and i'm like damn it yeah <laughs> I'm, it like, like, I'm trying to get the tripod back into one piece we were two minutes to go i haven't you aren't messaging or saying anything on hangouts i'm Fucking calling him. He just, I didn't have my phone. Okay. Mm hmm. Well, Would you have 
What'd you have for dinner? Steak. Mm. And chicken and pepper kebabs. <sighs> Dude, I make a... Nothing. Oh, the table is so... Gr- I cleaned it with um, antibacterial spray, and it's sticky now. Hey, bud. You can't do that. Did you use alcohol? Like the 60% stuff? No, I can. I wouldn't. No, okay. Well, no, that's, that's some natural plant-based citrus shit. Mm, yeah, so... And now yeah. it's just... Yeah, that's probably going to have to recure. How long... Damn, motherfucker. This whole... Me setting this stuff back up is not going well. I tried yeah. to wipe it down because a lot of stuff was spilled on it today. Alcohol was spilled on it today. I know. I felt like I spilled a lot of alcohol on it, you know? Yeah, I washed it. People will um, see that. Brian Gillespie. Gillespie. I, I think I got it that time. It's close. David off year of the rat smooth MF or dude. I've only had one David off and it's one of like the chillest, smoothest cigars I've ever had. Uh, I put that up there. Dude. I don't know. Those things are super, super chill. They're very expensive, but good cigar. Um, okay. So we got samples and then Sean and I blended some shit to see if we could blend better than oh. Monarch in a short period of time. Well, my period of time was five minutes, maybe. It was like, like, eh, try something. I think he, I think um, Sean's been like mixing for days now. So. <laughs> um, what is Oof. going on? There's a bunch of people in chat. Chat is moving. I uh, hope everybody's having a good night and a good, what's today? Tuesday? A good week. Dude, it's it feels Tuesday. weird to stream on Tuesday. Normal, yeah, it's our normal live stream time. It feels weird because it feels like we haven't done that in a long time for some reason. Oh, right. So we do a um, couple things to go over. Check out the Facebook group if you haven't. Mm-hmm. Answer the questions. If you answer one question, I don't give a shit which question it is. If you answer one of the three questions, I immediately decline. So yes. just a heads up. Just a pro tip. You know? He does too. He comes um, in and cleans fucking house. Oh, I'll go in there and just delete. If you haven't answered the questions in 12 hours, see ya. You know? My, my favorite is like when people are like, what group are you joining? Ours. And they're like, do you watch your YouTube channel? They're like, didn't know you had one. It was like, how are you finding this group? I know. It's very weird. <sighs> okay. So let's see here. Speaking of the devil, ADHD just throwing up the link for it. Thanks, buddy. Um, Dude, uh, the Patreon people sent an email that said, let's cut the bullshit. And I'm like, I, oh, our shit's getting taken down for sure. Yeah, I started reading that and then didn't. Something about they wanted content. Yeah. It wasn't uh, them taking shit down, thankfully. Okay, so we got a bunch of new patrons this week. We'll go yeah. over that before I forget, inevitably. Yeah, I don't have the whiteboard to look at the, the plan. Um, Thank you all for joining. We had 17 new patrons this week, which is ridiculous. Ugh. Okay, new t- patron, Harry Taphouse, solid name, Joshua Britt Sagahotui. Swear to God, I nailed that. I guarantee you did not. Neil Solomon, Zach Vance, Mike Myers, like Austin Powers. Michael Myers? Yep. All right. Uh, uh, it says in quotations or in parentheses, it says my uh, awesome powers. Jordan Canada. Bet you're from Canada. <laughs> Nailed it. Sonny. Um, Ryan Ball. Lifeboat Will. Got me. Up that boat. One word. Kevin Nguyen. Dylan Garrison. Rob Crop. Steve Rowland. Keenanen. Ludman. Clay Watson. Matt Purnell. Just like Purell, but a little different. And Joshua Esplund. Did you get a hey, ludicrous in there? AKA, did I get you a niner in there? <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for being here. So tonight we're going to go through for a few samples first. Um, Sean came over and picked up some samples and then picked up the redwood things, blend a couple of whiskeys together. Um, oh, mine, are, mine were YOLO blends too. Oh, so were mine. Mind you, if you gave me a week to do it, they still would have to been. be YOLO blends. Yeah, we've done this before. Yeah. So um, I'm going to drink the Bullet Blenders Select. All right. I'll finish this OWA that I was warming up with. I'm going to – did you text Sir Daniel Autry? Absolutely. Okay. Um, I'm so going you had to- sent me his name, and I was like – I didn't realize – well, you had just so showed me the messages that he sent. It was like, okay. Uh, 
but I all I saw was his first name. I didn't know his last name until you just sent it to me. Yeah. I just want everybody to see that glass. Honestly, I'm pouring this into. I don't really. Yeah. Not doing this for I was wondering what you were doing for a second there. Just you might want to get a little closer to the camera. Ah, that's good enough. Teaser. Okay, Sir Brazers. Sir Brazers submitted his membership to the Facebook group. Now, hear me out, Brazers. If you, if I saw Brazers uh, as a name trying to join the group, I would admit that without answering the question. Brazers. Well, here, I can do it right now. Approve. Well, there you go. Done. It's really simple when um, you're sitting at your computer. <laughs> uh, I've been really excited to try this because I keep seeing people put up the, the pictures of this. The bottle looks on fucking point, too. Oh, it's so sexy. The The bullet, it's the normal bullet bottle. This is the blender select that I believe. It, so it's 50% and they made it. Like a bunch of this is gonna sound sexist. Okay. Bunch of Can't women make... blended this together. I think. Okay. Is that like when Jackie does things? I think like that's. I think they got women who blend whiskey together to make. I don't. I'm, I'm not sure. Dude, somebody will put it in chat. This smells fucking buttery. Dude, so this bottle is like, the normal right. bullet shape, and the black like the whiskey's so dark. Yeah. And then it has a black label around the bottom and all the gold. fonts gold. Yeah, it's oh, sexy. My gosh, it's so sexy. Um, yeah. Is, yeah, so that, that is the new maybe potential rocks glass in dead Dan's hand there. It's uh, uh nice and small, like the, the Lord's rocks here. Mm. Felt it today. I think it is probably just as heavy as this Lord's rocks. I would say it's got to be as heavy as that Lord Drive. If not heavier, yeah, dude, they're fucking boom. The the glass, the weight on the bottom, she heft. Okay, so we're the yeah. So I don't even know if it's if it's a maybe at this point. This thing's awesome. What's the uh, proof on that? Such a fan, fifty percent. That is interesting. Have you tried it yet? No. Okay. I'll tell you, it's interesting. This is a bold move. Yeah, I'm watching you about drop this. Dude, this is, I, told, I keep telling you phys physics aren't real, and I'm showing you the proof right now. <laughs> Almost I lost that was it. Gone. Almost. That was directly over the laptop keyboard, but it's got funnels that let the water go all the way through. Or, or whiskey. Richie Z just joined the chat. What is going on? Hmm. Wow. Um, dude, in my mind, this tastes like a blend of two distilleries. I, I don't know. It might be. I have no idea. Diageo ain't one of them, though. <laughs> <laughs> it smells It's like it smells a little spicy. And I thought, who just said? <laughs> Bar, Barndor said, so Dan says women don't know whiskey, in quote. That's not what I said. Take Listen, it to the bank. Print it out a shirt. Everybody knows that I believe in women and whiskey because everybody knows that Jackie's How much you like Jackie, yeah. yeah. So it's not even like, it's not even a debate because my favorite person in whiskey is a legend That's and a cool. female. Oh, okay. Dude, it smells like, does it smell minty? Or is that the antibacterial I just cleaned the table with? There it is. Uh, I find myself hilarious. Uh. <laughs> yes, I did just mute my mic so I could text or type to Dan that he's such a dummy because I can hear his hangouts beeping. Yeah, I know, but I can't. Oh, I can close that one actually. Never mind. I was going to yeah, say, close right. Gmail. No, you're right. Duh. It's <laughs> well, like I Gmail's have... just going to pop up and be like, hey, got a message. No, I, hey, dumbass. I thought that it was our bourbon junk at Gmail and I had it up for the patrons. I want to message you on that. I know. That's when I realized um, that I was actually wrong. Dude, no, I don't think it's me nuts. I think it is a bit uh, grassy. Really? Yeah. Nah. Have, have you tasted it yet? Mm-hmm. I think it is like um, kind of flowery. 
some grassy, and then it's got kind of like a weird peanutty finish, like salted peanut. Why is it almost like a string? It's all it's like um what is it? Dude, it's like you took um I don't I'm not in love with it. I did have OWA in this, but I know I rinsed it and then I did, I just washed this and have had nothing else in it. But it's got that kind of like flory floralness to it, and it's like kind of peanutty in the end. I feel like you took some OWA or early times or something, something that's like a little bit on that floral line, more like in early times, and then you mixed it with an Elijah Craig product. Oh, okay. Maybe, okay, just a sec. Hi. I'm, I'm convinced I'm Con smelling the table, the cleaner uh, on the table. What do you think you're smelling? Fucking cleaning chemicals. <laughs> okay, Your nose hold on. sucks. You ain't smelling shit. Bloodhound gang, dude. Yep. Okay. Um, like, I get that dried oak slash, like, uh, dry peanut shell uh, in the nose. Okay, so uh, there's something, like, kind of, like, abrasive about it. It's, I don't know if this helped it. Was this 90 proof? Uh -huh. I said this three times. Fifty percent. This is ninety proof. Okay, the table's wet. We'll see if it ends up sticky. <laughs> That's exactly what he said, dude. All right. Grant Hartwig just said. Just said. Did you guys see the shorts? Boom, dude! Flowers. Oh my god. With boots. There's hate brand. Yep. Yeah. I live. Looks like something Matt Vincent would wear. Woo. I got tropical flower shorts, dude, with some snow boots with no laces on. This is what we call fashion. Okay. The table is less sticky. So mission accomplished for the time being. I still smell. It's got to be the whiskey. Um, I, think, I think what you're calling, like, I think you're calling it, like you said, the kind of floral. Yeah, it's like a it's like a eucalyptus. <laughs> we'll about this at because I get like a a grassy funkiness in there, like the almost meatiness that I get out of some Eagle Rares. Yeah, like it's borderline that grassy oak with peanut shells in there. Okay, that, that's, that's why. Right. It feels like a blend of two different distilleries. That drink was pretty good. I'm going to be honest. I would more than likely think this is uh, four roses, like a Heaven Hill or a Four Roses. Maybe I would definitely. I say would say Heaven Hill. I could I could vote on a Four Roses, like because they have all those dumb yeast strains and mash bills. Yeah. Mm. All right. That, that drink's good. I don't hate that. What's the price on it? I don't know, probably like 50, 60. Not bad. I do not hate that one bit. All right, here. I'll, okay. I'll even switch glass for the next one. Full new glass. That's a full new Peppa. Hey, I'm not going to alluded to you, but get down. Do you even know what I'm talking about there? You know what? who Alinity is? A what? She's uh, like a, a fucking... No, Alinity. She's a like streamer. <clears throat> Her cat was like on her desk. She just like threw it over her head. People didn't like that. Why? The, it landed on its feet. I guarantee it. Well, yeah, it's a cat. Which one are you into? Fern? No need honey. These? Dan doesn't know big words, Jerry. Do you? I don't need big words. You guys get the point. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh my gosh. Roy Bragg, personally, my job said I'm oh. not essential. Now I can work from home in my b-ball jersey and shorts. Drinking responsibly means don't spill it. Come on. Come on. You. You're not wrong, sir. Yeah. Cheers, buddy. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, thank you, sir. And, yeah, like, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm going to find out at the end of this week on how long I get to work from home. Oh, really? Yeah. Might be another week or two Jeez. because of, um, like, the number of cases we have is still going up. They're now doing um, 
uh, what do I want to say? They're, they're taking people's temperatures at the do- the gate when yeah. you come in. Yep. That if you run a little high, you're going. Yep. They said that it'll um it'll peak in like two weeks or something. I know. A week or two, I think is what that, they said. That's why, like, we've got people going in tomorrow for like business critical work, like stuff that needs to get done for yeah. us, like as an infrastructure to support other businesses. So. Yeah. I'm hoping I get something so I can go in, maybe talk to a person. I can't wait. Dude, this bell meat honey smells fucking delicious. $700. <clears throat> and it's out of a, a Kentucky trail glass, too. All right. Um, Jake Wagner, sir. Thank you for sending. So Jake Wagner was the one that sent us the bullet and the bell meat honey. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. On both sir. accounts, because we'll never see this bottle Whoa, for goddamn sure. What? We have a chance of seeing the the distiller, whatever. I so I think like if we wanted, dude, after water was exactly what this table needed, dude. I'm basically a table doctor at this point. Um, a carpenter, dude. <laughs> no, but the um, uh, I think if we like put. I think people would cost plus ship us the bullet, the blender slag. Yeah. I mean, that's not bad. It's definitely interesting. I just don't. It just reminds me so much of Four Roses that just kind of puts me off. But it lives in a weird space, I think. Yeah. Dude, the honey, it literally smells like you're smelling a honey bear on this thing. It it smells very good. It's very sweet. You know how um, on our breakfast stream, you took yep. the honey and just mixed it with Amr T. Lee. Yep. The like basically, syrup. yeah, like that's what I feel like this is, is like someone took actual honey and just dissolved it up in smoke hall. Todd Trent said, eucalyptus for Dan. Thank you for the super chat, buddy. Grant Hartwig said, smash hey. that like button, please do. Brian Gillespie said, Grant Hartwig, are you feeling the super chat or? Hey, bud, you, uh, are you on live chat? Yeah. Top chat? Are you? Definitely on live chat. Yeah. Definitely on live chat, buddy. Yeah, because I was like, you're reading those well behind me. <laughs> Definitely on live chat. And didn't change a thing. Just had to check something. Yeah. Um, I'm just here to help you out, bud. <laughs> like, that's my mission. Also, if you have it on live chat and then pop it out, it automatically switches back to top chat. Yeah, so that might be what happened because I did just pop it out like a few minutes ago here. Joseph mm-hmm. Brazier, my day drinking hasn't gone up, but my night drinking has moved from every other day to every day. I'm pretty I mentioned this, but there will be a liver epidemic in this country soon. I wish I wasn't essential going into work 17 and 19 days, 12 hour days in the middle of a COVID 19 stuff. Brian Casey says You're keeping oh, this country running, man. Oh, I'm sorry that you have to do that though. Yeah. My gosh, dude. Dude, at this point in time, I would rather go back to work. Ugh. I I don't like, like, I can do home for a week, no problem. And then Gabby had to go back to work. So it's like, I'm just here by myself. I cannot fuck around on doing training and stuff that long. It's like, I need to go talk to people, be back in the lab. I need to do things. I need to touch stuff. I'll lose my mind. I'll tell you what, working remote for. It's very different for you. Is this the third week? Very demotivating. <laughs> yeah. Very, very, very different for you. Very, very demotivating. Very, like, getting work done at this point just feels um, like focusing on work. And sitting, There's no payoff. Oh, my gosh. It's, it, it's exhausting somehow. <laughs> Dude, that is the best thing I've ever read. read. Big Dog, Dan Exotic, the Bourbon King. <laughs> Have you watched the Tiger King yet? Um, Ricky and I have been watching it little by little when we get a little bit of time. Y'all want to see some fucked up shit? Ooh. Um, well, I don't, I'm not going to spoil anything. I think we're on the third episode, though. Oh, it gets good. There's like seven or eight. Yeah, so episode three, without spoiling a bunch of stuff, I think episode two or three. Is that all about Carol Baskins? Yeah. That episode? Yeah, yeah, that one's where you're like this. What is happening in this fucking show? Yeah, so that was the one where I was like, I think it was the end of episode, or like towards the end of episode two, I'm like, she's the only decent human being on this whole thing, and then the bomb drops, I'm like, oh, oh hold never mind. Ah, hold, she said, hold my beer, and uh, yeah. 
Dude, this bell meat honey is fucking delicious. This bell meat honey. Now, I don't know if I don't think I would ever guess this is finished whiskey. Really? I don't think so. I think I would guess that it was good whiskey. Uh, you might be right, but like knowing how like I I can't think of anything that is like this syrupy sweet. Like it coats amazing. It does, but I think we would just think this is a really good barrel proof. ADHD whiskey. Sean is my Carol Baskins, a hundred percent. Um uh, dude, so the uh I don't Okay. Somebody Two said moon. it could live up to the hype. No. Yeah. I was gonna say, I dude, this is fantastic fucking yeah, whiskey. Really the prices good. that people are paying for it, no. It's um, really good. We're really good at like taking whatever the market price is and saying we'd pay like half of it, basically. I think I'd pay well under half on this. I'd definitely pay two hundred bucks for one. That was where my head was at too. Two hundred. There's six. It's much easier for us to say that because more often than not, if we see one, we'd be like, "Hey, you know, throw me hundred bucks, we'll buy this." Oh, yeah, but think of they're like six hundred, seven hundred dollars in secondary though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm good. Um. Dan, what is – did he say ch – mm. did you just misspell churros? What? Michael Klein said, Dan, what is churros? But he misspelled it. Cirrhosis? <laughs> I don't know. Cirrhosis? Is that how you spell cirrhosis? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it's not. Though. But it's like it'd be cirrhosis. I... Good luck, man. Do we need to um, call 911 for him? Yeah. I mean, we have his address. You smell toes? <laughs> um, that's how you spell cirrhosis? Wait, what? Cirrhosis? No. Okay, Klein's fucking trolling right now. What an asshole, dude. Why is Bellmead Honey so much on secondary? That's crazy. I don't know why it gets like that. It's oh, delicious. Nope. Oh, that is exactly how you spell it. Apparently, well, Klein must have said he was going to put it in chat, and I would miss. I would. I would. You know, botch it. What's funny is I fucking botched it real bad too, but came around to it. <laughs> I dude, the English language is just wrong this time. Honestly, um, Ooh. Ooh, I'm glad I didn't look so dumb because I figured <laughs> it out. <laughs> I said churros, dude. That's pretty close. You didn't say churros. Um, here's yeah. the thing. What's funny is I really know that word, but I would never have guessed it spelled like that. So I know the word cirrhosis. Do I you, know that. What is it, Dan? I, no, I don't know what it means. I just have heard <laughs> the word before. Like I'm you not have saying, in I'm your not liver. I used it. Oh, is that liver failure? Yeah, like um, here I can read you the whole fucking thing. I don't. I'm good. Liver failures works for me, buddy. Somebody put it Pretty in much. chat. Yeah, it's it's basically where you uh, damage your liver over and over and over and over again. Makes um, sense. So you get a lot of scar tissue on it. Mm. 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 Yeah. Um, Klein is a man of many talents. Cool 62. Chev said, wrong. Drugs wait, will do that. Wait, just wait. So here's here's how this is going to go. I'm going to tell no. everybody your client's future. Ready? <laughs> Sorry, that's go not ahead. That's not the Rona. Um, Rona. I gave it to you today. So does Sean then. <laughs> so we made out four times today. We just couldn't help ourselves. It's so really hard. I haven't seen him so long. Just uh, we just he got out of his car and I just attacked him like Tiger King, dude. Sarah McLaughlin is just ripping in the arms of an angel. <gasps> you want to hear? Listen, this isn't a spoiler alert for the TV show. Do you do you know that Joe Exotic didn't make that music? What? You know how he plays like country songs that yeah. he says he, he a band came out and said they performed that song for him and then he just like dubbed it basically. <laughs> he didn't make any of that music. Excellent. And apparently they're telling the truth. Like uh, it's come no out shit. that they're not lying. So But the problem is 
Uh, he's fucking insane. Clearly, Spoiler. Listen, I'm going to tell you this right now. Everybody that, on that show that owns big cats also owns a cult, basically. Yeah. No one has ever heard of your them. fucking band. This is the only reason anyone's ever heard of your fucking band, and your music is fucking terrible. Oh. I would not claim that. You know, that woman makes YouTube videos, and somebody said she made it high-quality music videos. They were the worst YouTube videos I've ever seen, and I've seen our beginning ones. Uh, like, Chip Jones said, Sean still isn't comfortable with his wedding ring. I'm a fidgeter, and this just became my fidget spinner is the issue. It gave me something to play with nonstop. Dude, fantastic whiskey. I think it is pretty well put together. Dude, What's I think MSRP it's on this? What? 100? What's MSRP? 100? Uh, like 80. 80 to 100. But this is... <laughs> So this is the 115 proof, and they did four different ones this year, I guess. Mm. And I heard, and I don't know, I obviously person dependent, but I heard that the 115 was the worst of the bunch. That drink so spicy for 115. Yeah, yeah. Um, I would have guessed. Punch. Now, obviously, I, I'm not good at guessing this because everybody saw two weeks ago, but I would have guessed like a 125 on this. Um, I gotta ask. Charles Ashworth said. I'm, you're leaving a big door open there for what? what I'm, assuming I, I'm, I'm assuming there was a. I probably said the, some sort of innuendo. There you go. Innuendo is what I was going to say. <clears throat> wow. Um, <laughs> Jason Napper, waiting for Dan to say it. So here's the thing about owning 227 Tigers. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone on Tiger King is effed up. They really are. It's a. Oh, dude. Show. Okay. So. Yeah. Yeah, I need y'all to watch that show so I can revel in it with everyone here. Yeah, we should do like a a, that, a recap of that show next week. Everybody watch it and we'll go over it together. Go out and watch it and we can talk about our best parts. Like, I watched it. Gabby slept through it. It was great. Um, yeah, Ricky started watching it. A bunch of podcasts I listened to have been talking about it. And Ricky started watching it, so I started watching it. And then she watched the episode without me, so then she had to go back and watch the episode again with me. Yeah. Jason said... Uh, Mash and drum. I saw a tiger, and the tiger saw me. Hashtag free exotic. Cheers, boys. That's his. That's one of his songs. That's lyrics yeah. oh, of yeah. his song. Oh yeah. People are remaking that song to make. Dude, he, he had like twenty eight songs on an album. Yeah, he's got like I'm, two of them. Like holy yeah. shit. I think Eminem did that too once or something. Well, that's all he does. <laughs> um, dude, I've watched some weird interviews with like um, Joyner Lucas and stuff. He was like, dude. Eminem doesn't tell anyone who he's doing shit. He's like, he just brings you in, you do a song, and then a week later an album comes out. Yeah, I, I mean, at this point, he just does whatever he wants. Is that the Fern Creek? Yeah. Did you finish the honey? Yeah. Thank you, bud. Thank you, Sir Jake, for sending us those. Um, Indeed. Uh, those if, are bottles if, we'll never see. If that, ever. I'm telling you, if that, Jason Napper, thank you for the super chat, buddy. Uh, Grant Hartwig said, Dan's going to run for president next week. Dude, if I was old enough. You know what I mean? Um, you basically and, are. You and had hundreds of thousands of millions of dollars sitting around. It takes about a billion dollars nowadays. Yeah, you know. Real numbers. Hey, yeah. cut it out. Holy shit. You don't, I won't flip the Fern Creek, sir. Here's the problem. Where did that bottle come from? Yeah, who says it's that? Wes. I, know. I want you to shout it out. Wes. Buddy, I he Wes knows I love him, dude. Wes is a baller. Dan uh, Wes you probably flipped that baller. Wes but catch it. But catch amazing. it. Listen. For sure catch it. If this wasn't this bottle, I would flip it with the cap off for that dollar. For that hey, donation. Spoiler alert, Dan flipped our one bottle of a store pick. We've got two of them that are irreplaceable. Dan Thursday. flips one. It smacks on the table. Let's just say it's not even fucking close. And then he picked it up and he's like, ah, we got more. And I started looking at it and was like, that's the one you picked? He was like, oh, I didn't realize it was that one. Mm. Fucking I nailed it. really thought you fucking dropped that. Fucking nailed it, dude. That was close, bud. Ah, that was pretty close. I'm going to be honest. So here's the thing. <laughs> ah, anyways. Um, whew. Dude, you almost broke two irreplaceable bottles today. And so, one was significantly closer. Oh, so Fern Creek, Sean doesn't and, know anything about it, and I didn't either. I had to look I, it up. I don't know shit. 
We're going to talk. I'm, I'm not going to tell Sean anything until he drinks Hello. it and we pick it apart. I got this awesome glass. If it'll. Yeah. Was that your chemistry glass? Yeah. Fucking nerd. Um, so anyways, Nick Fole says, Dan's bottle flipping his way near into a bar near you. Dude, we'll do we'll go on a bottle flipping tour as soon as this shit ends. Heath Harvey said, just saw Sean's heart stop. Yeah, for the <laughs> second time today. Well, probably third. When I flipped that one bottle and I thought it was coming off the table. Oh, my eyes are probably that big each. Oh, oh hey, Shannon Bragg is in here. And Shannon Bragg hey. asked a question last time. That we answered, I'm pretty sure, after she left. Oh, which, which one was that? The question was, um, on with the stream with Jeremy, do you have to yep. light stuff with cedar stick matches or sticks or just matches? No. And that is something, when Jeremy, Jeremy and I have had phone conversations and people have commented on his videos and given him shit for not doing it. That sets him off. It's one of his, he's got about eight triggers and that's one of the top three for sure. And so the funny thing is, the unfortunate part is I read your comment. I meant to ask him. We got off topic like we do. And then I didn't ask him until I think you had left. But the answer is no, you don't have to. Um, Braden Sedam. He asked what my career is in. Uh, I work for this Uncle tiny dick. Fortune 500 company. I'm sucking dick. Schmau Schmemical. And it's called Schmorn Schmub. <laughs> Oh, yeah, God. that's our behind the scenes. If you guys didn't know, it's just a storm schmub. Sean's oh. a chemist. I'm an engineer. He's a measly chemist. <laughs> Dan's like an engineer that doesn't know math or science, which is oh, weird. God. Dude, wildly accurate statement. Um, oh. This smells very young. Okay. Did you say it smells? So young. I'm going to give you, I want to. I want to give you a heads up. When I opened it, I wanted us to drink it with a like out of the shoulder. Okay. If I opened it and I poured it because it was like a little towards the bottom of the neck. So I opened it and I poured a little out so it would be in the shoulder. And then <laughs> it was really good when I opened it. Okay. It was delicious when I opened it. I just read custodial engineer. Like that's that's the type of engineer you are. They just threw that baby on there. Listen. Listen to me right now. I don't clean stuff for a living, but you kind of do. I clean up messes. That part's true. Dude, uh, it smells and, grainy. At some point tonight, Dan will spill bourbon. Fill in, there's a blank after that. Chip Jones said, "There's fill in the blank." See, me and Cool Sixty Two Chew, we both understand this engineer life, dude. We both get it. You know what do you say? Oh, hey, uh, virtual cheers for that $50 from Brian Gillespie. Yeah. Cheers to everybody who's super chatted. Uh, mm. What do we want to give away for samples? Oh, fuck. We didn't even talk what? about that today, did we? Um, We could give away a sample of this. What else do we shoot today? We could give away a sample of... Do uh, that 12-year. Okay. Maybe one. Yeah, we could do that. So the 1792 age 12 years, we'll give a sample away of that. Give a sample away of Fern Creek, and then one more sample of um. Uh, what did we just get? What's new? Uh, what's? Oh, I don't want to give that away. You said it was brewed. You know what I'm talking about, right now, right? No, I don't. Uh, the Fidley bet one. Oh, I didn't. I didn't say anything about that. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, we, c yeah, we should. Brian Brian, we got rid of the wheel because um, we were getting too sidetracked from the stream. Yeah. And so, like, it was easy when we had sub 100 people and we could just um, do that and still pay attention to the chat. And then all of a sudden, we could not pay attention to the chat and do that. Yeah. So now, like, that's why we just do three sample or three um, giveaways, sample gives away at the end. Yeah. Way easier. Um, and then somebody just asked about it. So then we'll give away a sample of the Redwood Empire, the Haystack Needle Double oh, Barrel. Why are we not doing the fucking uh, the bottle we're trying to outblend? I think I just gave away a sample of that. Oh. Maybe I didn't. We can do Lost Monarch. Okay. Let me say that. Oh, Joseph Brazier said, okay, um, 
Fring Fringatel says you. Pilot series or Old Forester Row. Old Forester Row. Every day of the year. Yeah. And that's hard for me to say, but that I truly believe that statement. Uh, Grant said we both have to do a bottle at the same time. Okay. Um, we grab one. Oh, I got one right here. I got a bottle that I plan on killing tonight, which is this Stag Jr. It, that is a badge seven right there. Look at that. You ready? Yup. That's what you're flipping? Yup. You're going with the weirdest fucking thing ever? Yup. All right. On three. One, two, three. Oh! oh I, almost, I almost threw it into my laptop. Okay. I had the best. This. Look at how I caught mine. One-handed, by the fucking base like a man. Okay, dude. Fine. <laughs> well, <laughs> Oh, Dude, hold on. wait, is it broken? Nope. Listen, you can it's... get these rock glasses at our Facebook page. <laughs> Woo! Wow. I had a double flip to the bottom. Just palmed it like the Tiger King himself. This you is... uh... dropped it with two hands. I, no, no, no. That the first attempt I caught with two hands. The second attempt I tried to catch with one hand. Dude, I, I want to replay mine. Mine was so good. I was like, yeah! I felt accomplished. Here's what I'm... I'm going to open this. See, what Chris Frazier said, LOL at the flip. See, initially, the point of me flipping this bottle was because oh. we haven't opened this. Oh, it's so bad. What did you drink? Burn Creek. Did you say it's so bad? Oh, I wasn't ready for that. Is it really young? No. What's the age on it? That is not what I expected. Okay, well, now that you expect it, you got to do it again. Yeah. And the, the nose does not follow the old palette. Woo! <laughs> Hold on. Woo! Um, is this like 110 plus? Yeah. What is the proof? Okay. That's like, that dude. Dan is an engineer of destruction. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the problem. I wanted to flip this, and it turned in me to catch it. Why are you doing the worst fucking bottle ever? Because we hadn't opened this yet, and I was going to... So you're trying to break it open? Flip it, catch it's it, and a, drink it. It's got a cork. Don't you fucking put your lips on that, you rona carrying bitch. My lips did not touch glass. Holy shit. That's... This is the only one we didn't open, and this is the best one. <laughs> um, that's the southern. Okay. That's the southern American whiskey from Thirteenth County. That's fantastic. Oh shit! You want to read that one from Jerry? Thank you, sir. Jerry Blank, you shut the fuck up. Oh, dude, not, my not flip mean, just fucking dis like skull fucked you. Shut it the fuck <laughs> down, dude. Hear me right now. It's very important that skull you hear what I'm saying. You shut it down. You shut oh. it down. A double flip to the base. It just, mm, it's one of those things that I could probably do 10 more times and never recreate what just happened. Dude, I could flip <laughs> that bottle 10 more times and the exact same outcome would happen. Okay. Coming back to this, I would 100% think this is a Heaven Hill product. Okay. Did you just Google it or something? No. Okay. I I promise. You can see my screen. I've got us up. <laughs> yeah, you do. And you're not talking about the stream either. Hmm. <laughs> we got our second account up. Um, Dude, the fact that this that bottle landed on this rock. Oh, wow. I watched whiskey shoot out of it. And this this isn't chipped. It's not crap. Greatest. You know what? We make. We now sell the greatest rocks glass ever made. Um, I would. Mm, you can't make that claim. I can make any claim. This is America. It's a freedom of speech. You got that independently studied. Yeah. Um, um, double, triple blinded with the quadruple uh, uh, quantifier, where we exponentially tested the longevity of it. You're saying words. Yep. <clears throat> um, this is how this is how marketing works. Yes, this is dry oak. Okay. Well, so is it young or old then? 
because dry oak doesn't come from young usually. And dude, uh, talk to Heaven Hill. They can fucking do it on everything they make. Okay. <laughs> Slate says, "I see a I see face for yeah. <laughs> Man, it's okay. So it is dry oak with circus peanuts. So Joseph Brazers asked what we thought about Woodenville. It's good. Sure. Joseph good. Brazers, I'm 99.9% .9 sure Joseph Brazers was the one that sent us this bottle <laughs> of Woodenville. And we're <laughs> in the process. I'm in the process of labeling all of our bottles. <laughs> so we remember oh. everyone that yeah. I, Woodenville. <clears throat> hey, did you know that Woodenville won at San Francisco Awards? Oh, really? Yeah, Woodenville won. Um, it's very good. They, they won like best, I don't know if it was blended whiskey or something like that. Oh, my God. There's so many good comments right in a row. Uh, Nick Foles says, we got live stream footage of it. We're going right to the top with those rock glasses. Yep. See? I That was a study. And that was an unbiased study. Clear. And, yeah, Chris, I just need to eventually get used to wearing a ring. But it'll take like nine years. Um, He's used to wearing one not on his finger, if you know what I'm saying. Put some locks around it. <laughs> uh what was the other one that I just read? Oof. How is this not broken? Yes, Brad. I did say circus peanuts. Like that, like sugary, like orange sweet. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, we, oh, yeah. They come in little plastic bags at gas stations. They're marshmallows. They're marshmallows. Hey, Brian, again, with that, $10. Hell of a poor Dan. Sean, hell of a flip. Damn right. Ah. Listen. Ah. We ah, let me have this. Just let me have it, bro. All right. Fine. You can have it. Grant Hartwig said, Dan Rogan on the mic. <laughs> Slade said, I see a face porn in the future tonight. Brian Jackson said, Sean practices bottle flips in the spare time to make it look random. I've had a week. <laughs> I'm like fucking Tom Cruise in cocktail right now. Let me tell you what. Well, Have you seen the meme where it's like um, – bartenders with new careers after all of this and it's like a guy yeah. who's like pouring oil into yeah. the car over his neck. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like perfectly going. He's just uh. so oh. this Woodenville is all of theirs. Like it's all theirs. Like they distill it, they age it, they do the whole Ooh. thing. And it's fantastic, sir. Yeah, I would have some, but I'm not there. Joseph Brazier said, I'm 100% sure in regards to him sending us that bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Yeah. Um, so I believe that that is the best. I would probably say that's it, it's, it's either the <laughs> top two best craft that, that's not sourced out there right now. Grant Hardwick said, does anyone else notice Sean's whiskey shelf? Yes, yeah, so I just took the bookshelf and put random bottles up on it. <laughs> Dude, I didn't even notice that. Yeah. Amazing. I just put some random bottles that were just chilling off to the side. I was like, fuck it. Just threw it up there. Cheers to you, Patrick Fomer. A flip and a flop. A flip. You're the flop, Dan. I was the flipper. Sean's the flopper, dude. Flopped on your wall. Okay. <laughs> oh, that picked that up, huh? Oh, my God. Ricky was in chat. She said thanks for the brownies, babe, earlier because she kept asking me to go get her brownies. And I'm like, I don't have time to get you brownies. What are you and then doing? I looked, at, I looked at her and I said, you get me brownies. And she didn't. So, so what I'm hearing is that was uh, sarcastic and you didn't get her any brownies like a bad husband? Extremely sarcastic. I didn't get her brownies. <laughs> Wait, where did she want brownies from? Anywhere. Oh. I don't, I, she wasn't picky. Just brownies in general. Just, just, just some brownies. Listen, I didn't know we if like full carb life, dude. We are I didn't trying know. to find and eat every carb available. You got to stock up. You don't know what the Rona is bringing. Yeah, and I tell you what, I can't survive on this carnivore diet. I'm not a hunter. Okay, I'm dude, more I, of a gatherer. I, <laughs> I tell you what, I've got an entire uh, stockpile of venison right now. For, yeah, I know that, and I still out. haven't had any. No, wait, no, you have. When? Didn't I make you some? 
Was that steak that you bought from Meyer venison? No, that was not from Meyer. Good sir. You told me it was from Meyer. Might have been. Because I was shocked it was from Meyer because it was amazing. Yeah, it's because I made it. Duh. Um, I can't even give you shit for that. It was one of the better steaks I've had. Oh. Mm. This rock, I swear to I God, if you're not in the Facebook group and you want a rocks class, get your ass in the Facebook group. Yeah, because they're probably coming down the pipe. Uh, we both are a fan Pride of that of, size. Pride of night? What? Um, Because it's basically trying to like night. get as close to this as we can. They'll go up tonight? <clears throat> Perfect. Uh, we already get emailed. Someone had said that they're in for four. Sir Hatton. Yeah. Oh, I don't know how much it is to ship them, so they won't go up tonight. <laughs> I was going to say, bud, we don't have final prices. Well, the problem is they're a little bit more expensive to ship than our old. I know how much they're our old rocks glasses fall. Are. Dude, um, those rock glasses, they're probably the weight of two guns. They're very heavy. The, the it's the same i think it was like around the same price for one but to ship two was more because of the weight the weight yeah but a lot of stamps i tell you what if i've ever seen a rock glass that could withstand Oof. a bottle flip oh brian jackson said next time he comes out with backstrap cook off game on Mine's i've be never better. had backstrap because my friends don't share things so um i have another one left in the freezer mm -hmm. so i usually fillet mine out right you pack her full of, uh, I, I make a little mixture of cream cheese and jalapeno. Okay, okay. Throw that in there, wrap it in bacon, bake that up, smoke the shit out of your house, and then okay. 40 minutes later, it's delicious. Listen, dude. Um, <clears throat> um, what am I listening to? I will, I will, I've never had backstrap constantly here at Cigars and never blah, blah, blah. I don't think that it could be better than. Like, I dude, I had a strip steak once. It's the best. Oh my gosh! Okay, um, so venison, like if you cook it decent, yeah, or if you have a like, if you hang your like, like that's why people hang deer. Um, you get the blood out. It doesn't taste gamey at all. There's a, a little bit, little twinge there, but. When you pack that much green cheese and shit in there, you can't yeah. even taste it. Like one of the girls, like when we made it on New Year's, she was like, I don't like gamey things. I was like, just try it. She's like, you can't even tell. So good. Ten that was backstrap? Yeah. Mm. I like venison. I dude, venison jerky's the best shit ever. Yeah. Um that we didn't buy meat when we went to the store for when we came back from Jamaica. Yeah. We've yeah. just been cooking with the old venison. I was gonna say you got it. That's I gotta stop that. You. Um, big dog asked if we have sizes for the t-shirt Dan's wearing. Um, coming that, to our internet yeah. website near you. So we're hopefully switching to a place that will do fulfillment. Yeah. But we're also switching. Oh, we are. Oh, we, yeah, oh, we, are. We, we eventually will. Um, but we're also switching uh, what that shirt is to basically. This is the new. No, dude. Is no. this an L? Here's the greatest thing ever, dude. This, okay. is, this is behind the scenes for everybody. This is what yeah. the patrons normally get. Yeah. But now the live stream gets it. So the nice thing with the fulfillment thing and the way that they print is on on some form of a website, if there were one, we could put up both logo designs on shirts and yeah. sell them separately. So if you don't like the new one, then you can have the old one. If you don't like the old or you like the new one more, you can buy the new one. So. Which I don't that, – that's the new one. Well, I have the new one, and Dan has the old one. Yeah. This is like the one we had forever. That's the OG. Tips, nips. Okay. Uh, I will not lose this ring in two months uh, because I'll die. I have four – I had ordered four silicone rings already. I'll more than likely just wear those to work every day. This is going to be the, the fancy going places ring. Meyer's a high class Walmart. Yep. Yeah. It's priced like a high class Walmart, too. Um, The yeah. Kim Kyle Ball, these glasses will be pre sale on the Facebook group and the yep. Patreon page. So those are the two ways you can get them. Okay. I'm going to I'm gonna load my five up. You ready to get into it? I still love that white bourbon junkies backpack, Nick Foles. Oh, that was uh that's a one, one off. off. Yeah. Maybe dude, it's dirty as fuck. I was gonna say maybe one day we'll just give it away. 
Black would be a good color to make those in. <laughs> I need to. The reason they're white is so you, because they're they're actually meant to be printed everywhere on. Yeah. So they're meant to be a, like an all over print, but you have to have somebody design an all over print specifically. So, <laughs> holy shit! I just came up with the best idea for an all over print for any of our. Yeah, good. Pretzel sticks. <laughs> That's the best because the all over prints just have to have little shit everywhere. Yeah. So you do uh, like pretzel sticks as the all over <laughs> with Urban Junkies logo in front. All right. You're ready to get in this whiskey war? I was born to be in whiskey wars, dude. No, you weren't. Um, Dan's bottle flip screenshot on Facebook. Of course it is. Oh, I can't wait. I need to go look at it right now. Hey, wait, we haven't talked about Fern Creek. We're not done. I uh, not a fan. You don't like it. Um, it tastes like a really weird heaven hell. Okay. So here's the deal. I'm just going to take a step back. I, I wanted to tell you guys what was going to happen. Um, Joseph Brazier said, I can see that that camo hoodie ain't working. I can clearly see you. <laughs> it's because he's fat. It's just, yeah, it's supposed to be slimming, you know? Like camo hoodies only work on skinny people. Which you ride the bourbon guy. Take a shot for my golden birthday today. Cheers, fellas. Does that mean you're 100? No, holy shit. You don't know what a golden birthday is, do you? Golden shower. When you turn the age that your birthday, like the day is. I have to be 89? Uh, no, that's a year, you dummy. You're born on the 17th, right? 18th. That was real close, though. Uh, so your golden birthday would be your 18th. So now I'm past that, and I'll never hit the 89. So uh, I have you, literally you nothing. Get, like, like fucking 14 anyways, so. This is the worst. This is the worst day ever, dude. Okay, Holy, I gotta be about. 89? Holy shit, you are such a dummy. It Mine makes was, more sense to me that yeah. it would be the, the year, not the... The day, not the year. See, it would make more sense to me to do the year. Mine was 13. We're both fucked. Yeah. Well, we're basically dead. Well, for right, sure. Here. Bottle <laughs> shot from one of my favorite bottles. Um, here you go. Whiskey Ride the Bourbon Guy. Happy birthday. I plan on killing this tonight. Dan... Oh, Dan picked up a bottle, goes, uh, a different stag, goes, I'll kill it. It's like this fucking full. I was like, <laughs> good luck, bud. Had a lot more in it than I thought. It was like five ounces of stag. He's like, I'll just drink that. I said, you think you're going to drink that and we're going to live stream? Okay. So. Oof. Oh, my God. Oh, that's a. That, this right here. Is one of the first bottles of Stag Junior I ever bought. Seven. Is, yep. 130 proof on the dot. This right here. One of my favorites still. This right. Is that a burr rye? This is a yeah. son of burr rye. Oh, okay. From 2014. Oh, I was going to get 15. This was one of the greatest whiskeys ever made, ever. Oh, well, we're going to find out. We're on a burr rye challenge tonight. Ever. I actually just poured burr rye into one of these. Son of a right. <laughs> Didn't even fucking blend anything. Just blah, 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 blah. technically, it meets the criteria. <laughs> oh gosh, dude. Okay, so we'll. Okay, I want this. Is what I want to tell you. Go this ahead. is the annoying part. I got to tell you, Michael Klein and ADHD whiskey are going to do like a blend off. I think. Where are they going to do like a blender versus pretender, like we did with him? Dude, I got money in uh, Matt on that one. Yeah, that's going to crush Klein, right? Yeah. Obviously, like, I, think, I think that's a clear, easy. How bad he beat you in the last, uh, like, pro versus Joe is, I think it, that's how it's going to go for Matt. Like, he's just going to crush it. Honestly, I'm praying for that to happen. <laughs> I need mean, you go to come yeah. down. You need to slow him down a little bit. Yeah. So the, the thing is, uh, ADHD Whiskey said Thursday night. So here's the thing. They're going to be doing their Blender versus Pretender um, just like we did with Matt. And Matt shit he sh destroyed us. So let me tell you about Klein's upcoming future. <laughs> wow, words hurt. <laughs> Klein Klein gets absolutely shit stomped during that event, right? And that's fine. That happens. It happened to us, dude. It happens to the best of them. Happened to you, yeah. And then it happened to me. It happened to you Klein twice. And Sean are gonna have to have a a, a figure or outer off a pros versus Joe's because that's what we should have called it, dude. Pros versus Joe's was wrong. We needed it to be figure or outer off. Oh, figured out. This 
is Source from Heaven Hill. Oh, no shit. Yeah. And what I think you said is it, uh, you said something like, is it above 110 proof or something? Dude, it, it feels like hot. Like it's ethanol y hot. It's 116 proof. You said, is it young? It's five years old. Really? All right. Motherfucker. I would have guessed three. Dude, ah! that's not great. Everybody's good at this except for me. What? <laughs> dude, what can I tell you what happens? What happens when I'm left to my own devices is I hey. consume so much alcohol, I just numb all the senses. But no pressure on. For me, I could be way fucking wrong. That could be 25 years old fucking from Buffalo Trace. It's like, whatever, man. Like I, I threw a guess out there. You want to know what the interesting part is? But when you were like, <laughs> you looked that up. I was like, no. I was like, I'm right. <laughs> yeah. Because here's the thing. the the. Dude, I love the label, though. Tell me that bottle's not. It's like a throwback bot label. Yeah, I'm leaning in like I'm old. I can just read it. What am I doing? Dude, it's so cool. It just looks old as shit, and it looks really – I like that a lot. Found it. This is the single barrel proof one. Um, it literally I, – I didn't mispronounce. It says single barrel proof on the bottom. I'm assuming it's a single barrel barrel proof, but it says single barrel proof. Okay. Scott but, um, Perez says throw some peat in that blend for ADHD. The fucking – He just did a live stream. Him drinking – that you, uh, if you did not see the quotes from that stream, there were some good ones. There were some gems in there, dude. Oh, there were. Um, so all right, we'll do the fivers. You ready? You ready to do this damn thing? Dude, like, none of these lens are broke, not my rocks glass isn't broke. Dude, I'm shocked. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, one ounce of whiskey in a blend just looks violent right now. Yeah, I'm not doing Look at I'm not even pouring. Well, I'm throwing it all in there. These are only one ounce samples. I can pour it right back in, which inevitably is going to happen with some of these, or right down the drain, more likely. Yeah. Oh, the third glass, a bug just flew into, and there was no right. whiskey in there yet. So, in our glasses are two blends from Dan, two blends from me, and one Lost Monarch. Yep. So, the, the rules where they all have to be bourbon rye blends because Lost Monarch's a bourbon rye blend. But the the kicker that we just kind of, it just kind of, I just made it up because that's kind of how this works. Um, the kicker was we tried to keep them like basically a hundred or under proof. Yeah. yeah, we didn't try to go way too up. So I think most of ours are around that hundred to hundred and I'd say five-ish proof. Yeah. For us. We had talked about what we had blended um, after we picked. So, oh, how are you feeling about it? I even. Oh my gosh. I'm through three and they all smell fantastic. Dude, what happened? Did we do. I don't even give a shit if we won. Uh, uh, okay. Was, was that number three? Yeah. Okay, just keep going though. Three's got a bit of bite to it. But and then uh A B C D E has got a little funk. Yeah. Other than that, holy shit, dude. We're apparently good at just putting two things on point together. So here's the thing. One of my blends has two whiskeys, one of my blends has three whiskeys. Yep. Lost Mo Lost Monarch. I don't know how many things were their like source. Five. From. Yeah, I don't know any of that. Um, but I've got two and two. One of these bottles is Lost Monarch, and it's a fresh open bottle today. Yep. Because we came out and opened it. I feel like that was fair since we're blending these today. I'm not gonna lie. I'm looking through the the looking glass and all these. Man, they look good, dude. Now one, all, right, all hundred proof or under. I get roughly very close to that. Uh, a little bit higher on one of my blends. I one of them is literally like 90, 90 proof because all three whiskeys were 90 proof. I think one of mine's going to average out to about 105. <clears throat> Cheater. What? I, 105? No, fuck you. Cheater. No, no. You said mix it around the same proof. No, yeah, well, the, we don't have a proofometer, dude. You know what I mean? <sighs> <laughs> all right, Listen, you're the greatest part is that would bother. Nobody else, that term would bother no one except somebody who worked with chemistry bullshit. Ah, oh, it was so worth it, dude. It made me feel happy in my heart. This smells so fucking good. 
Sandman NYC said, hey, y'all, keep it up. Thank you, sir. Oh, dude, what in the hell? That is orange slices? That is oh. proofy orange slices. Blend one, my blend, clearly the winner. That's fucking good. Welcome to my life. I don't... Mm, I don't know what that is. Okay, I'm going to throw something at you. It smells toasty. That's so good. It smells toasty. Yeah, nobody put toasted anything in anything. Mm. Did you? I put one toasted thing in there. You put Michter's Toasted Rye in there? No. Wait, should, we can tell them our blends right now. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I can tell you our blends. Okay, so... You tell my, me yours. Okay, my two blends... So, like we said, Lost Monarch is just a straight up in here. That's what our baseline is. That's where we're competing. So, my first blend, um, blend number one, was Willet Four Year, which is like 100. What was the proof? Do you remember? 55%. So, it's 110. Okay. So, 110 proof. And then Hancock's Reserve, a bottle we really both enjoy. Yeah. The the one that was given to us from Austin, not the tainted one that we have. Yes, so a good bottle of Hancock, sorry, right yeah. there, and that's eighty-eight point nine per, uh, proof. Jeremy hey. Sears in the chat. I, I, <laughs> hey, I just saw that. Am I right? <laughs> what a dick! What a dick. <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> What's going on, buddy? He said, "What's up, bitches?" <laughs> he comes in and he just lays his dick across the table. That giant check mark. You know what I mean? Like a wreck and ball. How do we get a check? How many subs does it take to get a check mark? Because I'll start paying for them. <laughs> I'll do it. No, you won't. <laughs> Sean's like, Sean texts me, dude, it jumped 10K. I'm like, yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> um, Weird. They're going to go away in a month. Yeah. Weird. Oh, 110K and you can get a check mark. All right. Someday. <laughs> oh, all right. I'll see you in like mm, three years, guys. Oh, shit. Dude, if we ever hit 100K, I would be ecstatic. Let's put it that way. So my first okay. blend. Um, Will it and Hancock. Will it and Hancock. Simple 50-50 here. 50% yeah. of each. This is where Dan gets weird on it. Second blend. I didn't even tell you the percentages earlier. These are... No, you just threw three bottles at me. These are... I enjoyed it. These are exact percentages, too. Measured to the centiliter. So... Here's What's a centiliter, Dan? It's less than a milliliter, dude. No, it's not. <laughs> it's 10 times a milliliter. I forgot. I went the wrong way with the metric system, dude. I live in America. This is not fucking <laughs> Europe. Okay. So. Hey. Uh, holy so, shit. Brian, <laughs> Brian Delespy. Hey, Jeremy. Get a Patreon. Cheers yeah. to you, Brian. Seriously. Oh. Hold on. Wait, let me grab a bottle. Relax. And let my camera. There you go. Austin Hubbard sent this <laughs> Yippee Ki 2019, and it's fantastic. Cheers, sir. Ooh, I got a little chunk of something there. That is oh that cork. I almost lost it. I almost lost it. Uh a part of my cork uh came off in the bottle and I got it oh. out of my mouth. Oh, that's all right. We've all had a little cork, you know what I'm saying? It's not um, fantastic. So no joke. Second blend, exact milliliter percentage measured. Say nanoliter if you just want to fucking piss people off, I guess, at I this point in time. Weighed it out perfectly, dude. Okay, well, that's not how that works. On a measuring scale of, of weight. So, Rare Burn, yeah. what is going on, buddy? Thanks for being here tonight. Okay, so. Do you do you know the density of your the fluid you're weighing? Yep, it was about 0.74. Okay, so it, it can't be about if you're going to do volume <laughs> to weight. Like, those are two <laughs> different measurements. I'm sorry. When I said about it, I was just, I was running for you. I didn't know how it, how much you understood. So, <laughs> <laughs> so. that super chat. Paul Hanna, Dan showing his engineering chops by screwing up scientific units. Listen, Sean, for the first time ever, has been correct when he says, I'm an engineer that knows nothing about science or math. Oh, you're in my fucking uh, soccer court, fucking yeah. basketball court, whatever you want to fucking say here. Wildlife of Whiskey, Cody Jinx and Shit Show Tuesday, solid combo tears, y'all. Thanks for being here, buddy. 0.74, yeah. Okay, Just so... Out. <laughs> um, my second blend is Michter's rye, single barrel rye. Yep. The, the cheap one. Is Dan an engineer? Yeah, I'm at, my job is my job. I'm, I'm a server slash infrastructure engineer, whichever one you want to call it. Yeah. 
I engineer infrastructures with servers and shit. So um, no wonder crap breaks all the time. Engineers and their lack of understanding for metrics. He has no idea uh, of the metric system, it. and he doesn't need to. Life, it, yeah, he doesn't need it in his life. Nope. Nope. Um, okay. So, Mictor's rye. Mictor single barrel rye. Yep. Mictor's small batch bourbon. Yep. Sorry, 40% Mictor single barrel rye. Exactly to the droplet. I use an eye, eye dropper. Did you do that by volume or by weight? What? You do by volume or weight? I did both. And then okay. um, I like it. And then Mictor's, I'm I like to be exact, dude. You know me. So I usually do the same thing. You get it, you know, you know what I'm saying? So um I use volumetric my pets on our analytical balances. Big, dude, I don't use an I use uh I use a fanalytical balance because it's a little bit better, but you get to the just then so Mictor small batch bourbon and then um, I that was a that was a roughly a uh thirty percent make your small batch bourbon, and then roughly thirty percent make your ten year. Okay, I have to say, Michelle Lynn said golf ball size hail pandemic six point five earthquake here in Idaho. I feel like a girl in apocalypse movie sipping drinks in the corner. I didn't know Idaho had earthquakes. I didn't, uh, dude. I don't. Literally, sometimes shit literally just feels like the apocalypse, <laughs> and that seems seemingly seem feels like right now. Yeah, so. this is actually uh, this is a shower curtain. It's not. It, they're they're it's like not. they're they're curtains. Timothy Miller said, "The guy on the right is he in a shower curtain? Is that a bathroom? <laughs> they're real uh, curtains." So Linux Cat said, "Dan is a Windows engineer because Linux Cat is obviously a Linux." A Linux, guy. yeah. Hear me out, sir. It's not see the problem is it's not just Windows because it's ESXi and it's Nutanix, which is AHV and AOS. So it's a bunch of other shit. Oh, look at him throwing fucking numbers and letters at people. Let me explain to you something Sean doesn't understand for one. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so my blends were um, my first blend was double rye and OWA because I like OWA okay. and I like double ride. I think that that blend, I genuinely, when I when you pulled that out, I'm like, dude, I think that that's a really good idea. I, that's I went with, like, I went, yeah, pretty much. I that's went extremes on things and I thought it was a little bit out. I was like, eh. And then my second one, I also followed Willet. That was one I pulled down, not knowing Dan already grabbed it. And then I went with, uh, Old Forester 1910. Dude, Cause right as fuck. delicious. Now, What's bright? Where's Less bright. It, well, I know it's less bright. Is oh. it dark? No, no, it's good actually. Okay. There we go. It was too bright. Do you have the overhead light on? Yeah, I got both. I got like that light and this light, and but yeah. I had the ISO up. I just turned it down. <clears throat> what? To what? It was at eight hundred. Then we normally do it at four. I'm pretty sure it's running at four. We do it at four hundred. No, usually I have you as like a whole nother light source. You usually have me to come set all this shit up. <clears throat> oh, so this, uh, no, I'm going <laughs> to, Pat Former said, I started to go to bed, then I poured more whiskey, thank you for the super chat, buddy, listen, holy crap, there's too much math going on, I'm way too drunk for this, Jim, <laughs> buddy, I don't, I, Dick, I do math, math. Cool. like, we're not, we're not, this isn't real math, Sean knows real math, I do not, <clears throat> sure, um, uh, Todd Trent said, bottle chug for all the haters, 100k by 2022, Probably not, but that'd be fantastic. Is that like 10 years away? Listen, if ever hit 100K, my son will think I'm a super <laughs> because we'll get a play button. And my Dude. son's play buttons are literally God's gift to human beings. Spencer Mav, turn the ISO down by approximately 0.74. <laughs> so, um, Linux uh, said, I do Linux, ESXi, and Windows, etc. No Nutanix. <laughs> don't do Nutanix. Just a quick, I just, uh, just don't do it. Yeah, it's slightly sunburnt. That is the only part of me that is going to have any color there, Edward. And uh, the the, oh, no, the, you gotta read the chat. Nope, you got to oh. read that chat. Sean's nose is really red. Looking a little Rudolph. Yeah. It's the only thing that got a little burnt. Uh, I didn't know this was a Christmas rye special. Great show, guys. About to have another pour. Cheers, man. Um, so, yeah, we went down to the beach one day, and that was the only thing that got outside of my, my hat. 
Dude. Is Sean good at math? I'm good at math, Scott. He's pretty good at math. Climate, what, wait, listen. We've all said this. To Sean, behind Sean's back. <laughs> Marty, the dumbest one. person you've ever met in your life, dude. Swear to God. Oh, for sure. <clears throat> Dan's getting hot. It's getting hot. Uh, now, listen, I'm full carbs right now. It's not... I li- I'd wear, love to wear that hoodie, but it is hot as shit. I can be smart. I choose to be happy. Yeah. See, I feel like there's a balance there for sure. Yeah. You're not in the B yet? Um, I just went back to A because I haven't moved to B. I'm on B. Dude, are you really? Yeah. Holy shit. Okay, it's one away. Just pick up B. I thought you said D. <laughs> Dude, I was like, wow, you ran through them. Uh, Charles, we came back nine days ago. So yeah, I, the, the complexion of me being white, like you got to look at this. That, that's me. Really so if you want to put that next to the rest of me, yeah. Sean's a vampire. Dude. So I have a very, uh, bright white light over there to try to throw, like try to balance my overhead light out and it was late. So I should probably turn it down about two clicks. But I'm not just not going to. All right. I'm going to, you made me, you made me look at. Look at that enough. Um, Scott Perez said, it's still confusing how Super Chat is different than this chat. So it's, it, it shows up differently in chat. We see it better. Yeah, now I'm just like blue. Actually, not missing Super Chat. And it supports the channel. I apparently just have like the just 18 burps right now, but yeah. So the, the thing is, Dan is set in a, uh, a studio, basically, at this point in time, that uh, we have set up lights to light him evenly. And I'm set up in my room that uh, the one light is over there and the other light's over there. I have no light over here to do anything for me. Sean yeah. says this, but he acts like like I every time we shoot, I spend seven hours on color correcting Sean's skin. Seven hours. Because the last so time real. I sent you a, a thing for color correction, it was like ten minutes. You're like, here you go. <laughs> yeah. I don't have a color corrected monitor. Is my issue. Yeah, that's the issue. It's just <laughs> sliders. I can fucking do that. Mm-hmm. I yeah, look no, so definitely. blue now. Yeah. I feel like early times bib and Pikesville would be a good blend. Um, I don't know if Pikesville would complement it because Pikesville is so, like, corn. Like, it's so sweet. Yeah. You're not getting anything out of the rye at that point in time. Okay, hold on. Oh, B is good. Okay, B is way more rye forward. Um, It's spicy in the nose. Yeah. Grant Hartwig, people in the chat, smash the like button. Please do so. It helps the channel grow. Thank you very much, buddy. Small amount of black licorice. Good, though. I like that one. You get black li- I get way more baking spices on oh, beef. No, no. Like, it's got a tiny little peak of black licorice in it. Sure. Like, hits it, and then, yeah, it goes into baking spice. Um, where A was all sweet, right? Hey, you. Dude, A is so sweet. If you go, like, before I even went to B, I went back and sniffed A again, and it's so sweet. God, it's like syrup. Chip Jones said, is the older Redwood American whiskey any good? It's fantastic, dude. It's amazing. You got that uh, the one with the sticker? The one with the pig on it is the best one, dude. Yeah, it's okay. pretty good. I'm moving on to C. C. Timothy Miller talking shit. Ooh. As he does. This one smells grainy comparatively. Yeah. Um, Spearmenty? That one's weird, dude. This must, th- if I had to guess just off the nose, this would be the double rye one. What'd you mix it with? OWA. Man, did you do like 50 50 ish? Yeah, pretty much. I don't know, dude. This seems um, super rye heavy, but not. I haven't had double rye in a long time, is a thing. Um, this seems so much more like mintiness. Dude. <laughs> I know what that is, but it's just rye. That one's just rye. 
It just drinks like a rye, like a sweet rye. Mm. That drinks like an Old Forester 100, basically. Yeah. It's just really easy, smooth, sweet, like oily rye. Mm. It's very oily. I don't hate it, though. Um, I'll come back to that one. I like that one a lot. Ready to go on? Did mm-hmm. you go on? Mm-mm. I just took a second sip of C. I want to do some water. I, I don't know if I'm getting carryover from uh, B on it then. Dude, that is so... Man, whatever that... That rye is overpowering to whatever bourbon is in there. There's the smallest hint of grain on it. On C. Yeah. I agree. On the nose. It doesn't come through as much on the palate, but it's <laughs> definitely there on the nose. But this smells yeah, like the tiniest amount on the palate. Um, but way more in the nose that I get that little bit of graininess. It's not bad. I like how I actually like how the uh, C drinks a lot. It's been a little rough for me. Are you on D? No, not yet. Are yeah, you? D and D smells like uh if you've ever oh. had a box of graham crackers that's been in the where do you store your food a pantry and i would say pears nope if you've ever had a box of graham crackers that's been in your pantry for too long cinnamon pears you love it i know i get i get i get the pear the staleness still exists for me you think it's stale oh Do you don't get like a musty cardboardy note? No. Tiniest. It exists. Like, the one thing that works, which I, clearly is not my palate, is my nose. You can't have a nose this size and have it not perform. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, you can. You got a tiny dick that don't do shit. Why did your mic just get drastically worse? Well, <clears throat> because I, I that's worse. Her. Shit's worse. Her. I tried to mute it. Ah, okay. Is it back? Yeah. I tried to mute it to type. Oh, okay. I see. Because Gabby messaged me and said she's going to bed. So I was trying to type and not blow everyone's ear, earbuds out with the old uh, tickety tick tack tack. Gosh, your your key, your fucking typewriter. Yeah. Okay, this tastes drastically better than it smells. Ooh. Mm. There's some levels to that. But the thing is, whatever that blend is, I think it needed more time. I know we both made them today. Yeah. I think that in a week would be better. Dude, but it's it's good, though. It is. Um, is Funky paters. Cinnamon. There's cinnamon on the... On the finish a lot, dude. Oh. Andrew Coleman, what is going on, buddy? Thanks for being here. Cinnamon dry oak. Um, that one's interesting. I like that one. Do you feel like you were going to blow through this and know what the lost moniker was? No, I really didn't. Oh, okay. Nope, I really didn't because um, that one night that I had – one, the night that I watched John Wick 3, I went through about a solid third of half a bottle. bottle. Of oh, half, half bottle. Yep. About a third. And then, yeah. uh, but here's the problem. The thing is, I'm drinking Lost Monarch from the bot. Like, I don't have a glass for this situation. You put full Rona on that thing. I'm list- I'm watching John Wick 3. Fantastic movie, by the way. It's not um, bad. It's a fantastic movie, by the way. And it's, it's I, by it was better than two. By far, it's the best camera work of any of the John Wick movies. Uh, Storyline shit. Dude, the the camera work during the action scenes was so good. What the problem was is like they ramped up every other aspect of that movie Mm -hmm. except for the plot. And they were like, eh, fuck it. As long as he shoots enough shit, we'll be fine. I didn't dislike it. You know what? The part that I did like is I really enjoyed where they like – I enjoy them making fun of themselves about like the dog part. Yeah. So spoiler alert. 
for John Wick 3. It's been out for a year. Fucking yeah. see it if you have it. It's on HBO, by the way. So, dude, when <laughs> when Keanu and the girl, the woman, is that Halle Berry? Yeah. When when they go with the dogs and they see the guy. The guy. The guy shoots one of the dogs. And he yeah. looks at her and he goes, don't do it. And she goes, he shot my dog. And he goes, I get I understand. It. I'm like, this is, see, this is the type of shit that makes these movies great. If you're willing to make fun of yourself because of the first, dude, John Wick That's one. The order. That is the order right there. One, then three, and two. I agree. You're saying one's the best? Yeah. Three's second best. Yeah. I completely agree with that. John Wick one is one of the greatest movies of all time. Uh, action movies, one of the greatest action movies of all time. I think one set a precedent for what yeah. they did. I yeah. think three did the best job of what they're trying to accomplish, and then two probably had the best story. I don't know, dude. The but some of the some of the shots that they had during the action scenes in three were just notably so much better than the other two. Oh, it's fucking amazing. um. Because it was cool watching the the evolution. Like I watched the um, like Bradley Martin went to the guy that did the all the weapons training for Keanu in the yeah. third movie, and they were talking. It was like, hey, when we did the first movie, we did this type of shit. Yeah. When we did the second, we did this because we one upped it. And then when we did the third, he was doing like breech loading and shit on the the shotgun. It was like yeah. speed loading, so he's holding four shells in his hand. It's yeah. like you watch him flip it, <laughs> four yeah. shells. It was like, holy fuck. It was like, that's him actually doing that. He's yep. actually holding four shells, flipping it over and going, whoo, with his hand. It was like, what? Dude, one of the reasons that the movies are so good is because Keanu went and fuck. trained to do that. Yeah. Like, Keanu went and trained weapon he handling, three gun yeah. competitions, and all he of that. Stuff. Like, motherfucker. There are so many videos of him going and just ripping through a course. It was like, all right, again, boom, 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 flip the next one. It was like, damn. Dude, that's why it was so cool. But if Keanu, it, there, are, there are videos on like Insta and Facebook of Keanu doing like three gun runs. Yeah. And it's, dude, it's not edited. It's all shot on a cell phone. It is fucking ridiculous. How uh, it Big Dog said John Wick versus Jason Bourne. John Wick destroys him. Jason Bourne can fucking die though. You know what I mean? Well, okay. Here's the thing. He set the precedent. Like, that one was a new, new, like, Matt yeah. Damon. Yeah, five years ago. Thing. Yeah. No. Okay. Ten. Okay. Are you on the E yet? I'm on E. E smells amazing. You're going with amazing, huh? Smells amazing. I said, did I say smells? It smells amazing. I haven't tasted it. It, uh, it's mediocre for me. Overall. And I think Ooh. it's mine. It's a little flat coming through, huh? Yep. And I think it's mine. I think this is the OWA, good sir. It's too smooth. It's too soft. It's too delicate. Fringe and tell is Kentucky all worth two hundred dollars. It depends on which one, buddy. Um, batch two. Oh well, I like two. You like one? The the rise is what Sean's referencing right now. Yeah. Um. All the bourbons go for like way more than that. Three is good. I mean, come on, people. Where else can you get some get a movie, bourbon, cigar, and gun reviews along with some wild ass random as fuck <laughs> stories about normal life? Grant Hartwick said. Thanks, buddy. Thanks cheers, sir. Uh, here, virtual cheers. Virtual cheers, dude. Woo, Glenn Catch. I don't know if you Tang. saw that. Okay, here. I feel left out. What is Timothy Miller still talking shit? That motherfucker, dude. Where's his pink name? He's got a pink thing. That's how it's so easy to see because his fucking You're logo. Gonna have to do one just, just to piss Dan and Sean. Oh. Oh, he said, "When's a review of Dickel coming out?" That never. Jeremy Sear, or Jeremy and Timothy Miller are soulmates when it comes to Dickel, and it's garbage. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, saw an old fit sixteen year for two forty. What That's do y'all think? Me. It's got to be a 15. A pass, sir. Wait, yeah, what? Pat. It's got to be a typo. It's got to be a 15. No, no. There's not an old fit 16. That's what I'm saying. It's got to be a typo. It's got or, a 1 5. Or it's the William Heaven Hill 16. Oh, 240. I, I mean, either way, there's a typo. Uh, but I'm, I wouldn't do it. I like the 12 more. I wouldn't pay 240 for the 16. 
Dude, Timothy Miller said, Jeremy Sears, hard, I'll, hell, I'll send you a bottle if you reference them in the video. <laughs> oh, he has. I'll pull it up. <sighs> yeah, dude. One of the greatest moments ever is David Hatton messaging me being like, dude, Jeremy Sears, you mentioned your guys' grading scale. And I was like, I didn't message that guy because he's got a fucking huge YouTube channel, but I'm madly in love with him. Almost and so did. we start talking and Jeremy's like, I don't really give a fuck about how many subs you have. And I'm like, holy shit, this is amazing. Oh, you want to read that last one from Jeremy? Jeremy, listen, buddy. If I knew that you were going to say shit like that in our chat, you would not <laughs> have meant a lot on this channel. <laughs> listen, okay? That is not acceptable. That is not acceptable. Chris Feather Featheringham? Yeah, nailed it. Is this how you tip to get the cam models to take the shirts off? Yeah. Are you from the 1800s and you were a royal? That is the greatest last name. You lived in a fucking castle at some point, him. dude. For sure. Feathering uh, him? Yeah, that'll that'll definitely take Dan's clothes off. Oh, listen. My my buddy at work who I like knows that we do these live streams, he says we're just cam girls. <laughs> yeah. I said, listen, <laughs> if that's the fact, if that's the fact, I'm the ugliest cam girl you've ever seen that people pay money for. There's like that's there's no <laughs> way. They actually just pay to keep your clothes on. That makes sense, actually. You're gonna run it back, yeah. Oh, do you have any, do you have any sort of order? Yeah, do you have any sort of order? <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> oh shit. That is what I thought. Traded two X Knob Creek 15 year picks for a stag batch nine. Ooh, that is fair. Batch nine was my number one. That's Clear Moon. But I we have two very old Knob Creek picks. I love I'd them. That, I'd do that in a heartbeat because the only way oh, I'm shit. drinking those Knob Creek 15s are with a cigar. cigar. That stag batch nine is good all the time with anything. Yeah, that's so, you're not wrong. Yeah, it just fits the the stag nine fits. I left one on your shelf. I think. I think I might kill it. It was a that was a uh, test. I took it with me. <laughs> You son of a bitch. Oh, shit. Uh, Andrew Holman. Dude, it's Andrew Holman, actually, which makes you sound like a fucking Digimon. And if you haven't seen Digimon, get your shit together. You're a 90s kid. I watch your live streams to interact with Jeremy Sears. You can just DM him on Insta if you want, buddy, but you're welcome here, too. It's up to you. Yeah. <laughs> thanks, for the, thanks for the super chat, bud. What are your thoughts on Wilderness Trail bib, Dan? Disgusting. I think Wilderness Trail is one of the worst craft distilleries making whiskey right now. That's just me. I think Wilderness Trail and Rabbit Hole are among the bottom shelf of craft distilling. It's just how it works. <clears throat> Timothy Miller said, I just come to live streams and talk shit. Oh, I know you. Oh, I know you. I had I told Jeremy after the last live stream, like, no, no, we know him. Like, no, <laughs> know him in person. That's why these things are being said. I get his address. <laughs> Looking for a recommendation for a bottle. I'm about to celebrate 20 years in the Army. Have a $200 budget. About. What bottle should I get? Buffalo Trace Distillery fan as a whole. Oh. 200 bucks. Probably. Um, we're talking prior retail. Buffalo Trace fan. Actually, you know what? If you can find Stag Jr., for anywhere under 120 bucks. I think that's probably a good bottle. I just think it's a great bottle, dude. Al Strom said, shaking my head, Digimon, the only show to have an ultimate form of a fucking monster, only find out there's eight more ultimate forms past it that all suck compared to its ultimate form. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, oh, I used to watch that show religiously as a child. Well, we were nine, so settle oh, down. It was good. Ty, Ty was the guy with the fucking Charizard, basically. <laughs> <laughs> um, man, are you thinking about a bottle still? I am. Isn't it weird how long it takes you to come up with ideas and how long it takes me to come up with ideas? Well, you rip them off with no thought. No, Stag Junior, under two hundred dollars everywhere, even on secondary. Great bottle of whiskey everywhere. Mm. <laughs> Jeremy Sears says for 200 you can get 10 bottles of early times 
He's Pretty much. a fan of early times, dude. Dude, it's good shit. I know oh. you and him. Listen, I I obviously like it. You and him are the biggest of fanboys. He is Taylor Barrel Proof. If you could find one, I was gonna, that's the only shit that's what I'm gonna say. Yeah, a lot of people have been mentioning that. And if you can find one for under 200, I don't know if you can. If you um, could, that would be that would be a better pick than Stag Junior. Person. So running, well, Mashbell sake, I would rather do a fucking Rock Hill Farms. Find that shit. You're gonna love it. Over Stag Junior. I'm gonna ruin your life. Saying over Stag Junior. I think it's gonna be cheaper, easier to find. You realize the secondary prices on those bottles very different. Which one's more expensive? Stag Junior's a hundred on secondary right now. What's Rock Out Farms? Uh, two ten was the last one that I saw sold. I thought it was reverse. No. <laughs> no. Uh, no. Um, Blends Gold. Oh, okay. That dude, that's a good celebration bottle. Uh, fifty on secondary, probably. I'm literally. We did our um, little bit of the old collection video. Uh, so I'm literally trying to go through the video in my head right now of what we own. This is taking you so long. I, I, I'll stick with Blanton's Gold. I think that's good. Blanton's Gold. I don't see. Here's the thing. The part of the issue is you got to find places to find bottles. Um, if you were gonna spend two hundred dollars and you like high proof, you might get a really good Blanton straight from the barrel or a Blanton's say. Gold. What do people say? Fringitel Whistlepick Samurai Scientist is amazing. It's so good. It is. It is all. It is a great whiskey at a really good proof. They kept the proof up, and it's fantastic. It is not worth five hundred dollars. Do you have an order yet? I haven't even went backwards. What? Chip Jones said Dan's all about instant sat- satisfaction. You don't understand how instant we're talking here, Chief. Hmm. Jeremy Sears said literally anything that isn't made by Whistleberry. <laughs> oh, shit. Spencer Price, first thing I've disagreed with Dan on, I'm digging Wilderness Trail. That's where, I'm sorry, buddy. Wilderness Trail is way too young and way too expensive. Yeah. Or, sorry. It's grain forward as shit. I've not had a more grain forward craft distilled whiskey at the same age, I don't think. I don't know, man. I can't do it. See, EH to the barrel proof is so expensive on secondary like 300 and change now 300 bucks i think i got my order you got your order what you can talk to people in chat while i do this then because oh i forgot to tell you i got in an ea center barrel proof fireball the other day for 31 a spot and it filled 310 31 a spot so yep 310 Dear Lord. Did not no, i would hear if you won Oh, yeah. You would have heard it from my house. <laughs> I won in 2019 so bad. Oh, Angel's Cast Strength is is a special bottle, and it's $200 retail and all, maybe findable. Mm-hmm. That is like, a good one. It might not. It might be findable not on secondary. You can get um, some of the older um, Willets, like a 10-year yeah. around that. <gasps> but, but that's secondary, though. It is. It feels dirty, but that's where you're gonna find okay. it. If you're fine, if you're looking for non-secondary, I would say also another option would be a Kentucky Owl Rye. Yeah, it'd be two hundred on the dot, and they're great. They're great ryes. Like all three of them are really good ryes. Whether people think they're worth two hundred or not is like that's the debate. But they are all yeah, very it, good ryes. It, you know, it that's rough good. and like they're good ryes. I'm, I'm at that point, like, mentally, I want to say it's worth it. And then the other half of me is like, it's not. So, uh, it's worth okay. it. I got to start ranking these. Oh, yeah, for sure you have to. Dan has been sitting here fucking thumbing his butt. We Stop have... I've been talking. This is how this is how my life works. I just talk. Yeah, but I need you to do things as your employer. 
I almost spit that out. I hope so. I almost spit E out, dude. Uh, okay. uh, this goes in that direction. I think I have it that way. Yeah, I mean, I, I do one A and B. They, these were very close in order. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, Whiskey Rather Bourbon Guy said, technically, President's Choice at 190. Yeah, uh, yeah. You're going to be at basically at the distillery on the day. But. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, that is so good. I want to put that above that. I think no. Dude, I don't know what letter this is. I'm keeping them in order. C. Brian Gillespie. Dan, take your time. You're perfect. Sean. Wait. Um. Read right. I forgot that I put some in my name today. Yeah, that's why I literally left Holy the chat. Shit, you put Master Distiller. Yeah. I just, how We're an hour 40 into this. I just hey, realized uh, it. Uh, I came into this chat and saw Bourbon Junkie Sum, left it, rejoined with a new name. Brian Gillespie. Gillespie. Oof. Hill SP. Thank you, sir. Okay. <laughs> YW said Sean needs to change his background before we start losing subs. <laughs> uh, At some point, I don't know. We got, I don't know. We got to figure out. If Sean doesn't have fucking Rona in three days, we're good. I didn't have it today, so we're good. Hopefully. <laughs> we fucking risked it all today. And I mean, risked it all. Well, so the fun part is we definitely saw each other. Definitely hung out for a while. We social distanced for a bit, and uh, we with alcohol for the rest of the time. So yeah, give the people what they want. Might as well go to midnight since ninety percent of us don't have to work tomorrow. Yeah, yeah I I have to get up. In the no, last time we did this, we went four hours with Jeremy. In the next morning, here's here's the greatest part. Nobody knows <laughs> it. The people who are here Sunday will uh, appreciate this part. Okay, uh, on last Sunday. On Monday, Monday, I had to wake up, right? I said I had a meeting. Yeah. I skipped the meeting because I woke up at 7.30 to an email that basically said, your fucking server cluster's on fire. So I had to come out in the hut right away, and I'm like, shit's down. I'm working on it. That's basically what happened. Um, I woke up to the fact that the, the country's on fire, and they were like, you know what? You might not have to go to work. And I thought, please, please let me. I need to see people. I, I can't do this. Uh. Timothy Miller said it's quarantine time, Dan. I've been at this fucking house for, I mean, I've been at this house or a different <laughs> house alone for 17 days, I think. So. Yeah, he's been working in that uh, hut for a while. I've been, I've not, this is the third week I haven't gone to work, like into work or anything. So we haven't gone anywhere else, but we went to my parents. My mom watches our. Our son and daughter. So I'm on ones all the week. I don't like it. <laughs> Jeremy says, dude, I died like twice the next day, crashed for like an hour in the middle of the day. You son of a bitch. Yeah, because it was like three o'clock in the morning when we went to bed. I told my wife one. Sure, he went to bed. We're good. Lynn's cast a day 18. Dude, we're you and me, buddy. We're just we're just riding the wave, dudes. Uh I mean, if you count quarantine, we left to Jamaica on the 17th. I'm on two weeks. That does not count, you piece of shit. Well, both the flight there and the flight back were dead. So being a, being essential, um, the benefit to that is like you not worrying about getting paid. Yeah. Um, but there are some businesses that are paying their employees that are also closed, which is super cool that they're doing that. Um, that being said, yeah, being essential isn't great. I'm, if, if you could be paid to not be essential, let's put it that way. All right. Well, you have an order. Nope. Okay. I'm going to go to the bathroom. What? I can't drink these and talk to people. Dude, I think I got a half an hour. Okay. Let's put it this way. I have two that are not in first place anymore. Holy shit. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> oh shit 
That was the perfect. Dude, we don't have the lav mics because we're fucking separate, and that's not how it works, unfortunately. So we're using this mic, and Sean bought a new mic. So. Oh, shit. Listen, when Sean gets back, I'm going to tell him that I got all these ranked. I don't have a single one ranked right now. I was thinking I'm going to be in bed by 1130. Probably not the case. What in the hell happened inside my chest? <clears throat> so I'm going to tell Sean that these are ranked and I got a place. And just to watch the look on his face because he's going to be excited and surprised. And then I'm going to do. No, none of them are fucking ranked if I'm being completely honest. You all know this. Wildlife and Whiskey said, getting paid to sit at home. Thankfully, just glad I still get a paycheck to do nothing. Yeah, some businesses are paying, that. some businesses that can and are willing um, are paying their employees, which is really cool. And I know it's super fucking hard, um, especially for smaller businesses to do that. But um, the people who are is very fucking cool. They're doing that for people because I know the business is suffering, but the people that make the business also are suffering. So... Yeah, needless to say. Pillow Sean, bring him back. Where the... Dude, here's the problem. That pillow had garbage bags on it. Well, that's why it was so white. Because there was a... I didn't even ever think about taking the pillowcase off that pillow. Just put garbage bags over it. But I was poor... I poured whiskey on it. So thank God I put garbage bags on it. Uh, Chip Jones, I got word today and my Buffalo Trace Barrel will arrive late April. That'll be amazing, dude. I can't wait. I'm super excited. All right, buddy. Oh. Oh. You talking? Jeremy, hold on. I got two. Uh, one piece of news. Okay. I got them. I, they're all, I'm ready and set. I'm ranked. Bullshit. Okay. That was not. This is an apocalypse. All right. Cool. Second, I'm really not. Third, Jeremy Sears said, Sean's camera literally brightened two stops when he left. Had to compensate <laughs> for the loss of light. This is the thing. Jeremy. You guys saw a setup, and that's a live stream, and that looked so good, and his videos looked so good. And so every time Jeremy and I talk about light, we have, to, dance video. Yeah. we have to take into consideration the reason you, like, put a softbox on a light is so that the light source that might be this big becomes really big, right? You want your light source to be bigger. So the problem is Sean is a – Yes, I did. Sean is a literal light source. A physical human moving light source. Oh, Dramhound's got buffering. Really? On the whole thing? If you've got buffering on the whole thing, it's on. Because we have two different uploads. Sean's got a 400,000 gig upload. So. Uh, it is 40 gig upload. It's 40, 50, 50, but it's. It, Meg. Sean meant Meg. I'm going to correct him. Yeah. You. Hey, you got me on that one. Uh, I have 40 up, 40 down every day of the week. I pay for 50, but I get 40. You know what's great? 40 meg uploads. You know why? Because I throw one up there and I'm like, see a bitch. I know that's happening. Oh my gosh. What's up? I'm going to pick I, my last place. Holy shit. We're still, that, we're still doing this, huh? I'm not ready. How? an hour okay i got a last place which is good news go ahead for well i don't have any other places wait huh what bud you've been drinking these for an hour read rebecca's comment read rebecca's super chat rebecca tap house harry and i enjoy your content Thanks for adding more, though. COVID-19 and making social distancing more tolerable. Well, me and Dan got together today. It was fucking awful. Buffering here, too, occasionally. What the fuck? Well, listen, if if we're both, if the whole stream's buffering, Sean and That's I YouTube. are completely different connections. That's YouTube. It's either StreamYard, YouTube, or your situation. Those are the three... Because it's very possible that I buffer and Sean doesn't. That's very possible. Oh, I don't buffer. I mean, you're either up or down, basically, honestly. Oh, mine are consistent. No, I mean, like, if you're if you're 
buffering, your fucking internet's out. Oh, yeah. I'm, like, dead in the water if uh, I buffer. Okay, B, pretty pretty fantastic, dude. Uh-huh. I really wish I could remember what letter this was in this hand. What the fuck? You're supposed to leave an order. It's B. I'm just fucking with you. Oh, that was great. I hate you. I've had mine set for a year and a day. Dude, Heath Harvey, yeah, I do have good internet. I live in the middle of fucking nowhere. The um, amount of people that get this service, we have fiber, it is maybe four people. 200, I four. guess. Literal four. I would guess 200 total. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, that'd be an order cat. So there's an astringency on the end of B that's making me not put it above D. Okay. So. Okay. Now I got I only got one more A and B. I think. Hmm. Ah, oh, shit. My palate. Here we go. Some. Some ship. Somebody said there's no such thing as a whiskey some. Some people would disagree with you. Uh -oh. Here we go. Here we go. Why does... So A is starting to smell worse for me. I think I got out of order. You're just supposed to keep them in order. Derp, derp, derp. Mm. I feel like that was B and that is C. What does it smell like? We could do that. C? No, whatever one. You said you thought one's out of order. Yeah. What does it smell like? It's got to be. Okay. Um, What's your last place? C? E is my last place. Oh. Okay. I don't have the first yet. Oh. I do have I three of the I, other Mine was first place no matter what. I know that one's not wrong. So you know your first. Yeah. You know your last. Yeah. Mm. And if you ain't first, you're last. Yeah. So realistically, nothing matters. I like enjoy that one a lot. That's what Dude, she said. No. ADHD whiskey is trying to do the Bardstown thing. If somebody can get that man a, a cost plus ship on a Bardstown Discovery, that would be extremely helpful for him. So if somebody can reach out to ADHD whiskey if they have not yet, and they have the ability to obtain and somehow send a Bardstown Why Discovery. Sean's dead already. Yeah, I am. I need some fucking coffee is the issue. All right. You ready I turned out before I came out here. Didn't have any coffee. All right. I need some. Ready? Yeah, go ahead. Last place. Yep. E. C. Fourth. How many were there? Five? Four. There's six. There were only five. I did the count. Um, <laughs> even like, wait, what? <laughs> The yeah. fourth place. I'll just give you my order. How about that? That. Yeah. Uh, last C, D, E, B, A. So A1 for you. Yeah. Mine, last place, without moving yeah. the glasses. Yeah. It's very scientific. E is last. C, okay. fourth. Yep. B is third. D is second, A is first. Wow. Okay. Our, our order, other than A, 
wildly fucking different. Where did you put D? Uh, fifth. No, fourth. Sorry. I'd like to see my answer. A is the only thing we put as first. Oh, this didn't go well. For us? I went well for one of us. Me? I think oh. I won. I think my my uh my blend's number one. I think my blend's A. What was E for you? We're gonna start towards the bottom. Uh E was third. E. My dead last. Yours? That's the, the mixture of three? That's the mix, yeah, the mixture mixture of three, which is the Mictor's blend. I like that. It's a little flat though. I liked it. Like the flavors that are there are good. Yeah. It's just there aren't a lot of them. Yeah, I liked it. That the I'm honestly the Mictor's the rye part didn't stand out like at all in there. Okay. Um, there was like that. I don't know if that's why it took away from the finish a little bit. Okay. What was your last place? Uh C. So C was my fourth, so we'll do that one. That was god awful. Okay, I didn't say it was god awful. You're a bad person. Is it yours? It's no, it's mine. Not. This is Lost Monitor. Yeah, I'm giving it that. Let's I put Lost Monitor fourth. I put it dead last. Did it taste young to you? Yeah. Is that weird? No. I've never had it taste grainy before. What? Are you shitting me? Yeah, I shit stomp this shit. I can blend anything better is what I just learned. Oh, this hurts my heart. Why? Because it's so annoying because it, you're it, so it, annoying. Bottle. What? $30 bottle. That's, you know what? You know what I didn't think about coming into this? You Where? put... <laughs> wait. Trying to all blend a thirty dollar bottle. I didn't ever think about that one time. Hundred dollar bottles in this shit. I didn't ever even think about that. You're right, but I didn't never thought about it. Mm-hmm. Holy shit! Okay, right, yeah, go ahead. <clears throat> um, what was your third? Your third was E. What was your fourth? Uh, D. Okay. So D was your first blend. Which was... Oh, did we- oh, all right. That actually was my second place. I can actually spell the double right on it. On D? Yeah. Because I think my other one's A. Um, what was What was B for you? Second. B was second for you. And B was third for me. That was my first blend of Hancock's and Willet. That's good. Dude, that is damn good, huh? So I've blended this before, which is why I did it this time. <laughs> hey, what won, though? No, but here's the thing. No, 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 here's the thing. What won? Here's the thing. The funny thing is I blended it before because I t- then this is there was a reason for it. I beat your brakes off. I told Klein that I thought that the, the old label Redwood Empire, you know, the one that says American whiskey on it. Yeah. I was like, dude, I swear to God, it's like there's a hint of Willet in there. And I'm not saying there is, but it there's there's something in there that reminds my brain of Willet, right? What was your first place, Dan? Dude, I want you to fucking listen to my story. Yeah, what was your first place? My first place? Yeah. E, my blend number two. Anyways. Um, first place, Dan. Hold on, let me finish my story and then I'll fucking give credit where credit is due. Yeah. So I told Klein, I think Redwood Empire, the American whiskey, has a Willet flavor profile to it, and he called me yeah. a fucking idiot. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and this is in his basement. And then <laughs> he, went and, he would. and I told him I think that a really sweet bourbon would level it out and make it something awesome. Yeah, he was the one that I think he was the one that, if I recall correctly, he was the one that picked Hancock's Reserve, and he put yeah. Hancock's Reserve yeah. in the Glen. We swirled it, we drank it, we drank it, we drank it, dude. I heard. 
and it was fantastic. We drank it, we drank it and it was great. And um, yeah. so I, I mixed this this time knowing that it was really good, not knowing if it was just better. You're the fucking worst human being, dude. Hmm? Needless to say, basically, Klein and I put together. It's here's the shitty part. We used Will It Four Year, which we would pay seventy dollars for. Hey, that's number one. And we used Hancock's, which we'd pay sixty dollars for for sure. Yeah. Um. Okay, Will Henderson just gives Klein all the credit, which is the which is the problem for me. Wait, he didn't win. So A was Talk about A. Sean, a that was one. Sean blend number two. What was that, that blend? One for both of us. What was that blend? So it was about 60% uh 1910 and 40% will it. And that makes sense as to why it won. Because those are two of our favorite things on the planet. <laughs> um what's also funny is I was gonna do will it in 1870 and Dan even actually looked at me and he goes, eh, I don't know about that one. I was like, eh, I, I figured it'd balance out. I, I, I wanted to do uh, 1897 and balance out the proof. I wanted the, or I'm not, or sorry, not the proof. I wanted the flavor profile of 1897. I was like, I wanted something that was like a little bit more oaky, like more back end. And I was like, wait, Will it is all back end. 1910. So Dan walked out and did the B roll shot of the first Thursday you guys will see of him sweeping the old deck. And I switched it out, grabbed the 1910, threw it in there. Knew I won instantly. Okay, here's the thing. I got that much left. Here's Wait. the thing. I Wait. appreciate the credit. Look at that. I appreciate I, so left. I appreciate the slight credit given on the oh. 1870 nay. Yeah. The 1910 made choice made by you was a drastically better choice. He said that. He's like, ooh, I really like that. He said that on both my mixtures. Mine, ugh, bad. That the other one? Burn. I just mixed them all together, dude. How are they? It's pretty good. Michael Klein whiskey where I can see themselves out of this chat if they'd like. I tasted A, knew what I had. Instantly. Really? Yeah, the 1910. So see, forward. listen, I'm what people like to call a good sport, right? So um, I went through all of these with no bias, thinking <laughs> okay. not, not a single one of them was mine. Not a single one of them was Redwoods. Um, I put that dead last. That was disgusting. I put it fourth with a close – With a, I, I put that – the reason that your um, antique double rye beat it for me was because of the graininess. Those would have been the only two I would have switched. You want to you wanna reshoot <clears throat> the video of the day? No. Nope, because I still love that model dearly. Okay. You know what I shouldn't do is blind my favorite shit. Ever. Ever. Midwinter Night's Jam did that. Terrible idea. My lord. My? Yeah. Yeah. Yup. That was one of the worst videos we've ever shot that I had to edit. I will admit, one. I almost, I genuinely thought about just chopping out the end and fucking ending the video about eight minutes in. And it was like a 16-minute video. What are the bourbon jokes? Goodbye. Wait, <laughs> what was the answer? Oh, my gosh, dude. So, now here's the thing. What I will say is, because... I learned this lesson with the midwinters. I you I think you'll agree with some of this. Nostalgia. There, there are no no no. There are some whiskeys that are really good, but don't stand up to being compared elsewhere. Okay. So if you have George T. Stag 2019 by itself, do it to me because we just literally said this today. Well, listen, no, a bitch. no, but I have another good example. The 2019 George T. Stag, when we have it and we don't compare it to stuff, it's really good. Bad right? Thing. Yeah. But when we have the 2019 Stag next to the Barrel Proof and the Batch 12 Stag Jr., it's fucking not good. <laughs> you know, you get the gist. 
I mean, I'm not wrong. Yeah. So now I will say, apparently, our some of our blends, your blends, pulled, pulled the youth out of the Lost Monarch. Is what I'll say. Blends suck. Uh, here's the deal, dude. You put one of mine second. Okay. Which one was? Oh, we did the the Hancock's. Dude, that Hancock's will it. I'm telling you, if you can get an extra I, bottle of Hancock's, an extra will it. That's a damn good burr eye. The thing is, I literally told you, I looked at you and said, I wanted to do Willet and a Mashable 2, and then did. I know, I did. You put it second. <laughs> good. Yeah, I wonder how it would have gone with Elmer. Probably better. I'm 100, maybe. No. Oh, my gosh. Dude, that would have won this whole fucking thing. That would have you. Yeah. YouTube just demonetized our channel because that blends so good. You know what I'm saying? Um, look at this. Let me, let me show how much whiskey I have left. All these suck. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, shit. I had one empty. I don't even know where I said it. I have one. First place, one. That's it. All I didn't know. I didn't go incredibly, incredibly. Uh, you guys should post the blend ratios so we can do them and give our thoughts. That's a good idea. Maybe, um, I'll post them in Facebook after the live stream tonight. Um, throw it one. He's like, uh, this is just like when Klein wins shit, dude. It's yeah. so miserable. <laughs> oh, it is absolutely on the dot, kind of. <laughs> Uh, sixty percent, nineteen ten, and uh, forty percent. Will it? I'll put the whole list on Facebook tonight. How about that? Here's the here's the problem. Can I tell you what the problem is? That was the roughest fucking eh 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 ever. No, no, no. Oh, it obviously went pretty fucking well. For now, me, yeah. Did we? Did we use bottles that cost drastically more? You did, yes. So did you. Well, okay. 1910 is available everywhere. No, no, no. I, I said cost. Oh. 1910, 55. Will it for your at least 60? Okay. Okay. Early times, at least 60. Or I'm sorry, um, Antique 107, at least 60. No. Double rise 40. Okay. So your combination to yeah. beat the thirty dollars. It's so funny that I never I was so concerned about us not blowing it out with proof. Because I felt like it would be easier to create a burai full of proof with better flavors. You know what I'm saying? You're just trying to undermine my shit. Oh. When up, when up, when up. Yeah, you guys get the gist. I'll put the I'll put the blends on uh, Facebook tonight if you guys want to try them. Um, I think there were what? Where did you put um? You put B in second. Yeah. And I put B in third. I think. Okay. Is that yours? Yeah, that one was mine. Which one? The that was the Hancock Willet blend. I didn't hate that. Um. Uh, what, put, was, what was E? Dude, I put yours first and fucking second. That's miserable for me. That is miserable for me. What was E? That was my second. That was the Mictors blend. Holy shit. That didn't go well, buddy. You put me first and second? Wow, you suck. Here's the thing. I didn't even do that. But here's the thing. Your, uh, your no, here's the thing. No, here. I Wow. I don't even realize what's happening. Let me tell you something. <laughs> You haven't seen people in three weeks. You're like, you. I'll do anything to be friends. You, your, both of your blends were in my fucking wheelhouse, though. Yeah. They're, yeah, they're both our wheelhouse. No, no. Double Rye is my shit. 1910 is one of my favorite bottles of whiskey obtainable right now. Nailed it. I see what happened here, and I'm actually just kind of figuring it out. So are you. Well played. <laughs> Proud of me, too. Holy right. shit, dude. So, I was going to kill this bottle on stream. Kill it and we'll end it. All right. 
Pipe dreams are weakest to the Redwood lineup. Still decent. It's really good with cigars. I might die, but, you know. He's going to – yeah, and I'm going to go inside and make food because I'm hungry. Wait, you got no cheers? What? Oh, no shit. No cheers. Dan, you still bottle flip and stack glasses better than Klein? Maybe, I think. <laughs> you know what, dude? That started off real nice. Okay, hold on. I got a cheers. I forgot. Here. All right, cheers, buddy. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. I, I choose a different bottle. What a son of a bitch. <clears throat> so I took a uh someone asked me, this is a nice batch seven. <laughs> uh, Dan took a fucking cheddar oak. Now, here's the good news. Now go fuck yourself. The good news is No, there's zero good news. Go fuck yourself. It didn't touch my mouth. Cheers to that. <laughs> <laughs> Klein just said, I'm surprised Bourbon Junkies isn't opening the other bottle I won and drinking that. <laughs> oh, shit. Did you just kill that seven? Yeah. That, all right. All right. <clears throat> to all the junkies out there, I love you. Cheers. You're the, you're the highest proof bottles. Gar Grant Hartwig said, <laughs> "Here." so here's the thing. Well, that'll make we go another half an hour. Oh shit! We got to do the the giveaway. Oh shit! Yeah. Holy shit! Yeah. What are the odds you were responsible enough to type everybody's name in with your super loud keyboard? Zero. All right. You can get the uh, the list in the end. All right. Gonna move all these super chats. It's gonna take me a minute. You talk to chat. Um, Dan's doing a thing. I'm petting my cat. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Where are we at? Can you can you imagine if I went into fucking chat when you were gone and just started this with John's in Jamaican cookies here? So, uh, dude, cookies a good cat. Because he's a, a decent cat at best, dude. Grant Hardwick said, you need to make it here's the thing coin. Uh, there will be a coin. I'm to make it here's the thing shirt. There. Oh, Sean's just spoiling everything tonight. <coughs> Holy shit, here. this guy. What do you want to say here? Well, <laughs> I said it. There's a meow. I'm just deleting spaces from the names for the Super Chats right now, so. Are you? Yeah, because I had to pull it out of uh, what's it called? Chat? Um, no, like the because I didn't type all the names in. Wait, but you, YouTube keeps track of all that. Okay, but I had to copy and paste how much everybody donated so we could get a random name with an amount. <laughs> oh, I'll set that up as a uh, a macro for you. I don't think that's how that works. No, they do that. No, no, it's not in Excel, buddy. Oh, wait, what the fuck are you using? YouTube Super Chat. Sh the, oh. the yeah, but, okay. Yeah, I know you're good. Because I don't say we can put everything to YouTube from from there to Excel, and then mm -hmm. from there in. Yeah. Sean's going to die soon. Yeah, because... If then statements exist. Sean just killed a fucking stag seven and he's gonna die soon. Oh. Well I mean it's trying. <laughs> Sean's fucking plastered right now. <laughs> Did you just groan? What did you do? <laughs> What's happening? What are you doing? I was celebrating the death of that bottle. 
Oh my god. What are you doing? I'm fucking fixing the super chat thing for everybody. All right. You should. What's fixing? You just mean running? No, buddy. So because neither of us typed it, I I have to copy and paste it out of the YouTube thing because it keeps all the names right. Control C, Control V. We got you. Hey, buddy. But the problem is, is it keeps on separate lines. It keeps timestamps, donation amounts, and the comment in the in the super chat. So I'm going through and just trying to delete all of those. So when I click pick a random name, it doesn't cl- it doesn't give us an amount, a timestamp, or a comment. Does that make sense? Okay. A little bit at least. Wait, hear me out. Oh my gosh. So what you're saying oh no. is I'm I'm sorry. We should have had somebody just fucking keep track of this for us tonight. But we did not. I could have. I didn't know you're a fucking dick cunt. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Douche canoe. That that's what it is. Oh my gosh. What does Sean Scott for us says Sean is just celebrating a win. Dude, all I need Sean to do right now is just talk to fucking chat and it's just too complicated. Oh, I need chat to talk to me. People, I'm reading comments as I'm doing this. What you're gonna see is me eating these questions. Just happily. BC Whiskey said, someone called me a Humpty in a comment tonight. What the fuck is Humpty? <laughs> Klein in three separate comments said, what is happening? <laughs> this is what happens when we rely on Sean Solo for three minutes. We need for me. To talk to chat so I can clear this up. <laughs> I've said it five times. <laughs> Timothy Miller said, Sean needs to do a sobriety check. No, I don't. The problem is, my bed is uh, 18 feet away. We'll be fine. Dude, and you just killed that bottle of fucking Junior. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody said, Well, Sean got instant drunk. (laughs) Which is weirdly true because, like, literally the statement before you weren't. Um, so what happens with my drunkness is it's like, we're here. This is true. Five and all of a sudden it's like, Phew. this is extremely accurate. Let me tell yeah. you. I'm either there or I'm not. You got pigs or you don't. Wait, what? All right. I'm going to run the giveaway. First person that wins the giveaway. Jermaine. First person to win the giveaway. I'm running it right now. Pick a random name. I deleted all the shit. Uh, wait, what? what's the first follow? What's the first thing we're giving away? Wait. Uh, Fern Creek. Okay. Roy Bragg. Fern Creek. Let me get a pen so I can write these down. You have to email us or you're not getting the sample. Because I don't Roy or Shannon. Email us. You guys want a bottle. Nope. You didn't win a bottle. You want a sample. Whole bottle. Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay. Hold on. Okay, it's just a sample. <laughs> Sean's just giving it the whole thing away right now. Sean's like, "You want a channel?" <laughs> okay, I would win, Dad. You win. You won the Fern Creek uh, sample. Uh, so here's the thing: if you win the sample, you got to email us at bourbonjunk at gmail.com with your name, address, and what you won. Um, if not, I, I'm writing down what you won, but you got to email us your name and address. So, um, number two, the sample will be what was the other one? You came up with a good idea. Woodenville. Woodenville? No, it wasn't Woodenville, buddy. It was something oh, that, age, that age 12 years, the 1792. Yeah. The winner of the 1792 uh, 12 year sample is I just say, something they got given to us. It was Scott Perez, sir. Hmm. Uh, we'll send you, uh, like I said, bourbonjunk at gmail.com. 
Third sample is going to be the Redwood Empire, the haystack, the needle in the haystack or whatever it's called, the haystack needle double barrel bourbon whiskey finished in a portcast 12-year MGP. Red Bay. The store pick. Third person that won is Brian Casey. Well, that's easy to shoot. Well, I'll ship that to Bay City. I will drop that off at Opperman's. <laughs> Did you say you'll ship that? Hold on. Let me click back on StreamYard to look at your face right now. Did you say you would ship that? Oh, for sure. When's the last time you've been to a post office? Uh, last week. You liar. I just got married. Do you have to go to a port? Do you have to go to a post office to get married? Yeah, no, I have to fucking ship everything out. Thank you, letters, you fucking bitch. I'm assuming your wife did that. No, I did. <laughs> Dude, hey, DC Whiskey said. So here's the thing. Sean just got a whole bag of pretzels drunk. <laughs> Yay. Look at this thing. Oh, shit. oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, this is incredible. You, It was weird because now here's the thing. I know that your easing into drunk is a drastically faster situation than most. Oh, yeah. Tonight was like a light switch, though, which is interesting. We you were me. No, I'm completely sober right now. You re- look at, hold on. I can't move the camera. These are all the sample bottles of what, how much whiskey I have left. They're all half full. These were all in an ounce. This is all the whiskey I have left from the thing we just did. How are your Glens? You or me? No, no, no. I just said this is so. I have there's these are about half full still. The, the Glens. Yeah, I have that much left from the Glens. Yeah, but that's your whole bottle there, Chief. Those are your whole bottles. <laughs> and you killed a stag junior. <laughs> oh, Brian Gillespie said, Sean is drunk. Dan isn't. This is the world ending for the love of bourbon and the love of friends. Look at the super chat number. Oh, up hey, yeah. hey, yo. I was hoping Sean's drunk. I could see that number. Right. I'm going to hide. Brian, you're an outrageous human being, sir. I'm going to hide. Um, my gosh, that is an outrageous donation. That is the um, that is the all-time highest super chat this channel has ever received at one time. So, thank you very much, Brian. Are my eyebrows? How are they? Are they good? Brian, the next time oh, yeah. I, um, the next time I send you... They surprised? Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? The next time I send you uh, your Patreon, the monthly, the sample situation, the next time I send you, I'm going to throw an extra one in there for you, buddy. Thank you so much. Um, Seriously, thank you so much, dude, for real. I already focused in on one to send you. What did you just say out loud? I already focused in on one to send him. What is it? Text it. <laughs> nope. Just type it. Just type oh. it to me on Hangouts. Okay, Pepe. I need you to stop. I can't. There's a cat in the way. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> You're the craziest cat lady of all time. Look at this cat, though. This is, okay. I'm gonna be honest. It must be an angle thing. The cat looks super cute. Worst cat ever, dude. Oh, she's such a good kitty. Sean can't pronounce the letter A, Todd Trent just said. <laughs> A, go fuck yourselves. That's B, one of the go best fuck yourselves. I've ever read, dude. Hey, type me the bottle you were talking about for Brian. Oh, no. You already forgot? Yeah, I got Claude. I told Brian we would send him an extra thing for his Patreon sample. Mm. What did you think? I don't got it. What? I, uh... Holy shit. And, uh... <laughs> this has to be the drunkest you've ever been on the stream. <laughs> oh, shit. 
shit. Oh my gosh. We're going to have to shut down some point for Sean's sake because I want him to die. Did you send it to me? <laughs> Jermaine said, <laughs> quotes, type me the bottle, and then it's just fucking like somebody rolling their face on a keyboard. <laughs> Oh, yeah. my gosh. <laughs> oh, shit. ADHC Whiskey said, my wife is on her way to shut this shit down. No, here's the beneficial part of having two people on a stream, sir. <laughs> hey, Grant Hartwig said, bottle flips to end the night. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Dane Pinkston said, Sean, no, 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 I'm sorry. Somebody else said it. Let me find the person who's. <laughs> Somebody said, Sean is killing Corona right now. <laughs> Dude, not one fucking word in that last paragraph I sent you is felt wrong. Why did you send me a paragraph? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh my gosh oh. <laughs> dude I'm crying right now oh. Man, I, 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 I am drunk if you ever see me on a live stream call the cops I'm dying listen, I cannot drive home <laughs> listen if I saw you at my house at this point I would not let you drive home I have to drive to my fucking bed. Here's the thing. I said three sentences to you, and you ignored... You didn't even look at the camera. You were typing. Do you? Oh, I see. Okay. No, you're... You said none of that was misspelled? Only one word. Honestly, out of all of it, only one word. Listen... Bourbon saying after two pours can't types with his feet. So I got to give you credit where credit's due. Isn't that oh, great? Oh my gosh. That was incredible. I genuinely didn't think you could hear me for 10 minutes. Oh shit. I literally try to ignore you as much as I can. <laughs> Ryan trust me. Dan, you need to get Sean's level real quick. If I get to Sean's level, I will puke every Oh, no, it's bad. This doesn't work for that. That level does not. Um, work. I wish for no one. <laughs> Literally no one. Dan gets to that level, and like he is the godfather. He will stand around anyone. We're good. He hits a level. And it's like, hey, I know you guys are doing great, but I need you to go die. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> I get to the point where I get like I can live in a nice buzz. And that's where I, I I try to live in a nice buzz through most streams, and I, I'm it, I'm in a good mood. I'm usually super lovey. I'm affectionate. I get past that. I turn. I'm like I gotta go throw up everywhere, dude. I'm gonna puke everywhere right now. I get motion sick so fucking fast. You can see in his face. It looks like terror, panic, <laughs> fear. It's like I just saw Satan in front of me. Oh, what the? Oh no. Just <laughs> Wes, dude, Wesley's in the chat. Wes, buddy. How do I get out of this building right now? Should I get the window? <laughs> and that's Dan. That's, oh, that's you know, Dan's about to die. <laughs> Scary Peeper said, I think Sean has a bullfrog in his mouth. YW said, someone cosby Sean. <laughs> You're still on fucking top chat. No, I'm not, buddy. I'm on live chat. Yeah, there are two donations before or, or after that. After would be the correct word. You're right. So anyway. Yeah. <laughs> you read them? Oh, my gosh. Um, Todd Trent said, for Sean and hoping he finds his bed. He'll find it. It's not far from there. And there's a couch right next to him. Either way. He, and he's in a carpeted room. Either way, he's set. Exactly. Bernie D. 
listen, I've definitely seen Sean this drunk, if not significantly drunker, and he still somehow found his bed that night. So, um, Bernie D said, My 120 pound wife can out drink Sean, <laughs> she could probably out drink both of us. I'll take that back. <laughs> I'll take Sean's, about, Sean's about to start opening Bud Lights and leaving them open around the house right now. <laughs> and That's my sure. Oh my gosh, Trev Wilson said he just got home. Is it time for another drink? You need to you need to rewind about thirty minutes, buddy. Dan's uh, smoking a wax pen. Sean just um, killed a stag, and that stag is trying to kill Sean, so it's fighting back. <laughs> What's the proof on the stag that you killed? Uh, one thirty even. Oh my god! Wait, I know that. What? Yeah, it's one thirty even. It's batch seven. Okay, dude, I don't know what the bat. I know batch thirteen and twelve, and that's it. Proof wise. Let me a bitch. I can't remember everything, dude. There's a lot of knowledge up here. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god! A lot of knowledge up here, huh? Oh, uh, dude, Dramhound just said Gabby just needs to follow the pretzel trail, the pretzel trail to find Sean in the morning. <laughs> dude, how great would that be if you dude. like were crawling to bed and you just start throwing pretzels? <laughs> She's gonna beat me with a wrench. Fuck. Oh, uh, Michelle said flashback to Sean on the patio in Texas. Amazingly awesome. I went and slept in the truck for like three or four hours. Sean decided to stay up. Got so drunk, he got the fucking... Listen, <sighs> sleep deprivation tied to drunkenness I, is yeah, a hell of a drug. It's a, I, I was like, dude, I'm not even drunk. And then all of a sudden, I was like, I am high as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't smoke a fucking thing. I was like, dude. <laughs> Ooh, mistakes were made. Oh, dude, the best the Sean gets in the truck and immediately gets the hiccups and then immediately yeah. clearly hasn't slept in like 28 to 36 hour range and has also consumed a copious amount of alcohol. We got to the airport and we're standing in there and everything was all fucked up when we got to the airport. We're leaving at like fucking five in the morning or some shit. I'm still on a name tag. It was like BJ number two. Like, <laughs> I was like, no, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Dude, we're standing trying to check our bag full of alcohol. And we're sitting there and Sean's like, why the fuck aren't these people here? I'm like, you got to go the fuck through security right now. You got to get the hell out of here and you got to go through security and I'm going to be here. And I'm completely, I've slept at least for like three or four hours and I'm sober. I slept zero hours. I'm hammer drunk. I get over to the gate and Sean's just tucked into a little fucking chair, like trying so hard to sleep and sober up at the same time. I remember buying it, uh, coffee. Oh my God, dude. I'm good. I'm bad. I'm good. Oh my God. I'm good. William Davilar. That's because normally Sean drives home from here. And 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 normally we both have to work tomorrow in the yeah. morning. So so it'll always be exasperated. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! All right, dude. Are you ready to shut it down? Yeah, fuck yeah! Because I won. <laughs> Dan, you want to say that? I won. The pearly ganger. Klein said, "Erase the stream tomorrow and tell Sean you won." <laughs> nah, hell no! I know I won. Is Sean was drastically sober when he won. Oh. Ah, one, 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 one. Wait, wait, what number was uh, some bullshit? <laughs> what? I'm gonna ask. thank you, everybody, for being here. Thank what you, was all the super chats bullshit. tonight. We love you guys. Thank you for the re- Brian Gillespie. You're <laughs> ridiculous. You're a ridiculous human being, <laughs> sir. Um, thank you very much. Love you guys very uh, much. I'll cheers a to you. Are you drinking more? Oh yeah, for sure. What is happening? <laughs> I cheers a to you for Brian. All right, hold it. Wait. Okay, right, here it is. Cheers, buddy. Nah, it's not dark enough. You're a liar. This is no. This is the blend of all of them. I don't have a left. I blended all of them together. Oh, well, here we go. 
Thank you guys for being here. Get on that mic. I love you guys very much. <laughs> Timothy Miller said bottle chug. He's trying to fucking end somebody tonight. Hey, oh, Timothy, uh, you want to throw that up on the, uh, the Facebook? What? Timothy can show him uh, bottle chugging on the Facebook. He'll do it, too. Do it. Do it, bitch. Don't be a bitch. Don't be a bitch. <laughs> All Why don't right. you uh, bottle chug something on the old Facebook? Wes just said Sean needs a blood transfusion tomorrow. Uh, right. I don't know what I am, but if you want to throw that at me, I'll take it. All right. Thank you guys for being here. Like, comment, subscribe. If you haven't, please do that. It helps us grow the channel. Check out our Patreon. I know that uh, ADHD Whiskey, I believe, just posted it in the chat. Check, check out, out the Facebook, Facebook. Group. Check out the Facebook group. Answer those questions. And uh, check out Instagram if you'd like. Love you guys very much. I will post the blends in the Facebook group tonight. And as soon as yeah, we'll I'm <clears throat> on the rocks, that will be in the Facebook group for pre-sale and the Patreon page as well. Thank you guys yeah. for being here. We love you guys. I'll see you later. Yeah, shit's done.